Hello. Why, hello there. Hello. We're here. Welcome back to Clown Town. Oh. Rare and ready to go. I love clowns. Okay. About to go crazy. Absolutely crazy. For what? I'm totsy? Crazy Before totsy? stream, Cerberus gave $60. So everybody be happy with Cerberus. Hello. Ah, let's go. Yeah. <laughs> Don't clap. People, yeah. people who donate before the stream think they can get away with me not saying thank you to them. How dare you? Anyway, <laughs> we're gonna jump right in. Gonna go right over. You guys notice we get a lot of 20s on those transitions? It's almost like that's the only number it lands on for some reason. That's, that's not possible. That's weird. How would it do that? It has to sound should only right. land on three. It should only land on three. I agree. The only number that matters. It's <laughs> land on five. Hey, wait a minute. <laughs> <laughs> I think I think it should only ever land on. I think all dice should only ever land on threes. <laughs> Suddenly, I'm not feeling very safe. <laughs> Uh, guys, let's get to something very important first off. This is a pretty bitchin' piano I made, right? Pretty bitchin', yeah. like, top-down piano I made right over here? Yeah, it's pretty good. Oh, shit! Yeah. yeah, it's a bitchin' piano! Yeah, I did pretty good. We agreed off-screen that it was definitely, uh... It's bitchin'! Not yeah. any skill. I'm gonna add ever. a single black... There you go, now it's got keys. Why'd you do that? I wanted to fuck up everything you want. <laughs> <laughs> what about it, bitch? <laughs> Can't believe you messed with my masterpiece. <laughs> I don't want to see. I, a am, I, am I don't want to see. I am at the border of your funeral. All right? I don't want. I don't want to see a single addition to to that piano for the rest of this game. Yeah. Uh, okay. <laughs> I'm sure those words will not backfire. <laughs> My guys, we're about to tell you guys what happened last time, which was around two weeks ago. Nothing, there wasn't a lot, I don't remember. I don't think there was a lot. So whoever this lands on, it's probably fine. Lily, what happened last time? Shit. <laughs> <laughs> Literally the absolute worst person I could have landed on. Shit. Okay. So last time, okay, I'll give you know I'll give you credit if you tell me how last game started. Ah, uh, it started with Gilgamesh learning the truth. Mm? That they have a good game. Are less oh, hold on, can survive the audible donation, sad face. It happened again. Okay, so it's not just donations; it's also bits. <laughs> Thank oh, you, Iron well. Flag Golf. <laughs> Everyone, if you want to be annoying today, today's your day. Oh, it wasn't. Jeez. No, it isn't bits. There was a donation right before the bits. Okay, oh, so it's only donations. At the same time. It's only donations. Thanks for letting us know that, Ironclad. Much appreciated. That's Haven't caught up crazy. yet, so can't stay. Insert Kingdom Hearts here. Kingdom Hearts! Anyway, Kingdom Hearts. thank you. But yes, you are correct. It, it did start off with Gilgamesh learning some shit. What that shit was. You see, he was... I was right that he wasn't really in the right body, but he thought he was a dragon. But deep down, he was actually a heartless. The life that he lost was still going. Long fulfilling lives, in fact. He was gone. All of his memories, all his motivation to get back there. All of it was not his own. I remember that part because I drew a little picture here. So I <laughs> you also remember it because we were in the fucking DMs being like, what the fuck? No, I drew a little picture. Look at that little picture. Happening. Yeah, I Look see it. There picture. he is. There's another little picture. Look at these little pictures. Well, that one's a work in progress. Good job. Good job. Looking. I'm actually, I'm actually going to, I'll give you credit for that. I'm going to roll. I'm going to roll again for, for the next person. <laughs> Gilgamesh, what happened? What, continue with what happened there. <clears throat> so, Maki was right, and Gilgamesh did not like what they had to say. 
Uh, Joe Mushkin is a fucking heartless. No, that's the problem. He's technically a third of an entire invasion's worth of heartless. Uh, in the shape of this human body. Um, while Maki is the other third and Storm is the final third. Which, you know, that's cool. If any one of us dies, it's a problem uh, for the planet. If all three of us die, <laughs> that's a problem for <laughs> an even bigger problem for the planet. I think we might turn into a chaos side. I'm going to take this yet. problem and push it somewhere else. Let's push it out of sight. <laughs> Therefore, it will no longer exist. <laughs> um, but uh, there was a bit of argumentation uh, about that of how the fuck is that possible? I... I have these memories, I feel I am who I am, and it might be that I'm not. Really. I'm kind of just a shell made from the wild magic. Just like Maki is. Except Storm, he's actually here, fucking dick. Um, <laughs> what about all those times I had sea salt ice cream with my friends? Storm was already kind of a shell, though. <laughs> he was already a shell because he, he, he was stripped of all of his life and became, became an undead servant. Which is really sad. Like, honestly, that's sad. He was a little baby dragon. Don't ignore the size difference. <laughs> he's, I, I assure you, he's a baby. I'm trying In to comparison. find. I'm trying to find the egg. Where'd the egg go? Egg. Yeah. The the new the brand new cherish egg. Yeah, I can't find the egg. Or Cerberus Junior. Or egg. That's, egg. So that's what. I, right that's here. why I wanted. That's why I wanted to. Uh, to find him so I can yeah. put there we go, thank you. Yeah. So I can so I can add the the it's a plus two now. Yeah. Oh hell yeah. Um oh, that's so that was a conversation. Um <laughs> Maki anticipated Gilgamesh reacting uh violently and trying to just fucking kill her. Uh that did not happen. Uh because why would you think that? <laughs> that's stupid. Um but he's still yet to really reconcile, but he did eventually get her to come inside to eat because she's like, no, I know ramen shop. It's like the ramen guys in there eating. And she's like, oh, fuck, where am I eating tonight? <laughs> <laughs> and you just see, did. you just see the visual, like the visual worry go across her face. Like, ah, <laughs> oh, no. What other food places are there still around? What other food um, even is there? <laughs> what other food is there besides that ramen? Got it. Mac and cheese. The mac and cheese guy is there, too. <laughs> <laughs> uh, he also gave her a keychain, a copy of his keychain, because that's a thing we can do to people. We mm -hmm. can do that. That it's is cool. something you can do to people. I hope if I lose my weapon, I will make a I will make a chain of keychains around my knuckles and punch <laughs> things with it. <laughs> well, you can only ever have one. <laughs> How about you shut up and let me have my fucking <laughs> knuckle dusters? Anyway. <laughs> Afterwards, we had a, a big old celebration inside. You know, I had to catch up after, but everyone was in there. Uh, mostly telling to Michelle, if I remember right. Um, Look at Michelle and his and his in silhouette self. If I remember right, we were talking. They were talking to Michelle, and also considering how to make cheese food, just cheese, <laughs> and they made a pot of cheese of indiscriminate amount of different kinds of indiscriminate cheeses. Hey, there were flowers in there too. And flowers, because they were wanting to make a cheesecake, that's right. And it's, instead of ever actually asking how the fuck does that work, they just, Buna and Zarel just kind of went off. And, I asked, and then I was told yeah. where to go. Yeah, so Zarel <laughs> was, was told uh, by Hibiki, who was a fucking monster, uh, that, flower, that the white <laughs> flower, actual real flower in the grass growing flower, is the flower we need for cake making. Uh, and Zarel believed it wholeheartedly because he is a sweet, innocent boy who's like two weeks old. So, you know, obviously. Uh, it was good. Ma Maki ate most of it uh, to Gilgamesh's dis to fucking disgruntledness. Um, but food was eaten. It was eaten. The whole, the whole pot was consumed. Mostly by those two. <laughs> if you give a white woman cheese, all right? <laughs> Shut oh. up. Well, let's see God now, out of our two remaining peeps, if they can tell us everything that happened during uh, during the, the dinner scenes. Also, if you're ever the like, oh man, Lil doesn't pay attention, that's why they forget. No, I 
forgot the cheese, guys. I forgot the cheese. <laughs> the Hibiki, cheese. what happened during during dinner? Well, you see, he he saw that there was a little mouse, a little 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 friend of ours that uh, he he immediately clocked in on as, hey. You worked for a certain uh, asshole we know. Oh jeez. A certain oh, monster. Shit. Oh fuck. <laughs> and despite being weak as fuck, it was still strong. He was still apparently strong enough to hold onto the mouse as they began to in interrogate him on uh, literally <laughs> everything they can get their hands on about fucking Doctor Hestis Boa. I just imagine the mouse like going into a little crack and pulling out. All right, here's the big guns. You kids like row bucks, right? <laughs> Get some gift cards. Sorry, sorry. Here, just sorry, sorry. Throw the gift cards. They're used. And from what we found out from him, uh, he's also actually one of the experiments that uh, Hestis Boa has been doing. He doesn't remember which number he was. He has a number. Just can't remember it. He was just, you know, basically used as a plaything for Dr. Hestis Boa and an accountant, basically, an assistant, but not for everything. Just to keep his, up his regular tasks. His regular tasks. Yeah. From We found out from this little brat that uh, there are plenty of other experiments out there. Uh, very aware of the, the 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 evils that this man has done, just being around him. Uh, there are there are other cherish out there that have been experimented on and empowered. Uh, part of the reason why fucking he was at uh, the the the, the Cocktacot's place is because he experimented on Cocktacot and has been one of his ex and was one of his experiments and basically placed there i guess i don't know it's very crazy crazy stuff the absolute mind blower that this dude was looking for dragon hrd what the fuck yeah he was trying to you know uh <laughs> i'm a dragon through those means but it didn't really work he became a heartless instead <laughs> what's up with dragons and heartlesses man what the hell what's up with that <laughs> I'm sure there's no no pattern emerging. They got big hearts. No pattern. You, you ever see that movie Dragon Heart? <laughs> That's true. <laughs> That's why they call it Dragon Heart. Remember when Sean Carney was a dragon, but that was kind of okay CG at that time. It was decent. Like for, it was decent. It was for the really time. decent for the time. It was I, crazy. I, you can still go back and you can still go watch that movie and you could appreciate yeah. it. Davy Jones still holds up like perfectly. By the way, look <laughs> mm -hmm. how good CG Davy Jones is perfect. Anyhow, despite all the evils and deaths he's caused, I, I met his CG num nuts. <laughs> what do you the mean? The one line he apparently never crossed was actually destroying a cherish egg. <laughs> <laughs> what are you laughing at? What's going on? I think he's laughing at chat. Oh. I would assume. <laughs> Is that, um, is that what's going on, Anthony? No, it's something <laughs> completely unrelated to a friend of mine. They just, never mind. I'll talk about it later after the game. Okay. It's great. <laughs> Keep going. Um, when, when, we, when we get to a certain point, I'll have the final person step up. I'm trying to remember every detail because it was a lot mm -hmm. of information that we got. Uh, apparently, we did confirm that the fact that I do cherish egg was made because of the experiments was a complete accident byproduct that was completely unexpected from all parties involved, apparently. Well, that wasn't supposed to happen. <laughs> so now we kind of want his research data to um reverse engineer in a way that's, you know, nicer and sustainable and doesn't hurt people. <laughs> So the little mouse decides decide that it wants to go and look at the, 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 the computers back at, uh, at Whisper's place. I had to remember her fucking name. Because <laughs> he is probably the only one in this entire facility beyond the, 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 the sky guy who can, you know, look at computers and understand shit. And for now, we're going to trust this little mouse because... 
it realizes that it's probably gonna live a better life here and not with the guy that he hates also by the way he doesn't really like dr hester samoa anyway because he treats him like shit so this is a very easy betrayal i am ready to backstab and tell anything that i know i am an open book thank you you are now our prime witness whenever we need to do whatever oh dear congratulations <laughs> all right and then after dinner as everybody went off to speak with Michelle and do the final things throughout, what 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 happened? What happened there? What happened there, Zarel? I agree. Sorry, I was speaking <laughs> there and my audio was turned off. Uh, I said, "Man, I I mean, now now it feels ironic that I said I considering what just happened, but I was like, damn, I should have played five darts today. I missed three rolls in a row." <laughs> oh yeah, you were uh, whenever I got whenever I got the things it's like first Lily, and then I rolled once, it was like, "Okay, Gilgamesh." Then I rolled three more times and I got Lily Gil <laughs> Lily, and then I'm like, "Okay." And then I got finally got he became like, "Okay, good." <laughs> unprecedented Muda, you, know, you know what i mean yeah and then i thought uh, i'm not gonna roll this last one go ahead <laughs> anyway uh the team do their thing like eating and also learning a little bit more about how magic works in maki's world and after that they go sleepy uh but uh, however uh while they're sleepy there is uh, some sort of noise, not bad. Uh, the good sort of noise that happens when you oh, when you on. have music. You're right. I need to hold on. Hold on. Anyway. <laughs> yeah. There's the music. Yeah. So so that music starts playing. And Hibiki and Muna wake up like, what the fuck's that noise? But in like a less aggressive note and more, we recognize that. And they go down and they find Michelle uh, fucking banging it out, banging out the tunes. And they go, hey dude, what's up? And he's like, well, you know, I've been thinking about the whole thing that we discussed where it's possible that maybe, you know, I've been completely tricked into believing that uh that uh Akron hates me but also you know it's kind of like a lot to break down because i mean how how really can you tell that anyone is you know having that kind of baggage on you and there's also no real proof either way like you know power does corrupt <laughs> and <laughs> clearly i'm also dying oh no that's 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 separate I'm glad that we got the role on the one scene that I remember the least about. <laughs> <laughs> you don't have to say everything. That's basically what I, I, for, I generally remember. They talk a little bit about his relationship with, uh, with Akron and generally how there's a lot to unpack. You know what the funniest you know, thing about what you just said is? What? You know what the funniest thing about what you just said is, though? What? What that means that you that you getting missed in those first three rolls was actually the unluckiest thing to happen. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, that's true. <laughs> that's so true. <laughs> you rolled three that one for the roll with that one. Jeez. I thought about it while we were doing it, and I'm like, I can probably just bullshit. I could not bullshit it, but I could at least do a general you pickup, and the rest of you can figure it out. It's not my problem. It was 11 p.m. Fuck you. Uh, but yeah, yeah, generally they just, you know, they talk about that a little bit, and then they, uh, they, uh, they part their merry ways, and that means they just go back to sleep. Uh, meanwhile, in the, uh, part of the people who didn't wake up, they, well, they, they still don't wake up. I had to get a different piano version now. Here's, here's that dark version, somber, <laughs> slow tempo that they put on YouTube. And uh, they they wake up or question mark in some sort of dark void. And when they when they open their eyes, uh, there's Akron just banging out the tunes on the piano. Yeah. Yeah. And if any of you figure out what happened in between, you're fucking welcome to figure that one out. <sighs> I'm disappointed in all four of you. 
None of you mentioned the most significant thing that happened last time. Beats. Beats. We like not to, like not to talk about it. But beats. <laughs> beats. But <Hold> beats. <laughs> oh my God! He's beatboxing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you guys may notice that on each of your guys's uh sides i have also given you guys some things uh i have replenished all of your uh all your re-rolls to get you guys to you to three uh i believe each of you have no I, I was gonna give one more to gil there you go gil uh so you guys each have three re-rolls i've also given each of you eight inspirations and I've given each of you five uh, guidance tokens. But that isn't sure. all I've decided to give you. Because this is the things that we get for doing the double things at the end of the months, which we always have to do now because that's how things roll. Um, so I did want to give you guys one more thing before we start. And I'll keep Twinkle Twinkle Little Star going while we're, while we're doing this. Um, I would like to offer you guys each... <laughs> A draw from the karma deck. Oh my god, yeah, baby! Oh. <laughs> it's like a Christmas tree come through. I'm gonna me, give me, you me guys first, the first. offer. Here's the thing. Okay, let's hear it. You can do this at any time today. At literally any time. Each of you have one one time you can you can draw from it. What kind of devilish lies are you preparing, Dungeon Master? <laughs> oh no, I'm just saying there may be better times to use them than others. Is all I is all I mean. <laughs> what? Maybe no maybe drawing from the random uh, crazy deck is probably not the best time to do so while I'm standing in front of a dude who is literally a dragon and has a blood sword. I mean, yeah, might not so be the best, Gilgamesh, but also he's not, so whatever. Might, might not be the best time to do it then, but maybe there's a better time today to do it. <laughs> or maybe this is the best time to do it. Who knows? Um, I'm just saying, at any time today, you guys can, uh, can cash that in. Oh, God. That being said, we are going to come back to Gilgamesh <laughs> and Zarel. Yeah. As you guys, upon drifting to sleep, wake up, hearing this noise, walking into the center of wherever this is, feeling familiar in this area. You don't know why, but something about this entire place feels very familiar. And as you look on to see Lord Acheron in front of you playing the piano, he does seem to stop. He seems to sigh, and as he does, <laughs> he seems to sort of slump his hands back, just staring forward. I'm gonna get Brinstar. I like I like Brinstar as 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 the as a sort of neutral good. as a sort of neutral tone, you know? Yeah. It is for pretty neutral, neutral moments until the end of the game. Yeah, until the end of the game. As you see Lord Akron sort of just staring off into the absolute darkness in front of him, what would the two of you like to do? Do I smell blood? You don't really smell anything. As you get closer to him, maybe as you look him over, you think that something is there. However, you do note that it doesn't appear that he's armed. So I lied so about him having a blood sword earlier, yes. <laughs> you bitch, how could you? He didn't bring it to his piano recital. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I left my demon sword out of my piano recital. You fool, that's the perfect time to strike. <laughs> but I think Joe was just like looked at Zarel and then looked at just like nod over to Acra. Um, play me out. This is a strange void. You, this is my dream or yours. You say Flamio. As you do. <laughs> so to look. Er, Zarel. You see Lord Akron uh -oh. turn 
looking toward the two of you. And Gilgamesh, welcome. How mm. have you found yourself here? Good question. That's something that we could ask ourselves as well. Uh, we appear to just have, what's the word? Drifted here somehow. Makes sense, I suppose, as much as this place ever does. This is uh, a place between, I guess, the realm of light and the realm of sleep. It would be appropriate to call it a sort of stopping point or, I guess, a break between. Like a station! Something so, like, does this feel so familiar? Mm. I do not know. It is something that I have came up against only a few times before, and even fewer with other people with me. It is a place I rarely go to myself, but that being the se that being the case, I could be speaking to you in the past or the future, for all I know. The realm of sleep is a strange place. I mean, listen to that I... damn music. Holy crap. <laughs> oh, wow. All right. That's... It's a crazy place. I feel deja vu <laughs> for a different reason now. <laughs> but yes, I... I try to only come here when I need to. He sort of looks off into the darkness again before turning back around. It's been a while from my perspective of seeing all of you. Well, I suppose it's been a while from our end as well. Hmm. Has everything gone as well as you could have hoped? on your patrols through these lands. Mm -hmm. What was that question? Has everything gone as well as you could have hoped on your patrols through these lands? Well, there have been some ups and downs as all things tend to do, but I think all things considered, we are doing quite well. Hmm. All things considered. Good. I was a little worried whenever I had learned that none of you had made your way to the upper city. We mm. had prepared several things there for you in case you returned, but it seems they were unnecessary. There were more pressing matters down here. Understood. The upper city has so far been able to be protected, thanks to the efforts not only from all of you, I'm sure, but of the great protector before it as well as the fact that it is as close to the great tree as one could possibly get without being on it. The Heartless somewhat stay away from there, at least to an extent. Who think it'd be their breeding ground? <laughs> the great tree is anything but darkness. While it is unfortunately gone, it is still a beacon of hope for those people who make their way to this world. I believe that it is one of the reasons why things that are lost come here. They come looking for the, the tree. More like the tree calls out to those lost out in the darkness. Hmm. It's like a beacon of swords. Sort of, yes. He sort of looks away as you mention it as a beacon. <laughs> <laughs> Even Sorrel is like, oh, wait, I did not realize I said that. <laughs> Speaking of which, I have noticed several things on the horizon as of late. Why am I you we talking about the beacons then? Yes. The big you... old light things? I knew that you had done something down at the library. 
as what you had all said whenever you had came to see me the first time. Yet, I noticed upon the mountains, and recently even in the, in the forest itself, there were others, large bursts of energy. And while they don't have as much of a presence as the one at the library, it seems that one has increased exponentially. Is that all of you? Yes. <laughs> it is our stated goal, after all. Your goal is to light the beacons. Our the lighthouses to... of this world. <clears throat> our goal is to save this world. And they've been quite efficient at taking away those dark side. Yes, the lighthouses, or beacons, or... You could even call them towers, uh, pillars, if you'd like. There are many peoples who would be, well, believing in such things as uh, omens. However, whenever I first came to this world, all of them were lit. The people of this world, whenever I came here, called them the towers which held up the sky. In truth, sure? they did not hold up the sky. They were more, well, these great sources of light that piece together the outer shell of this world. You know them currently to be the gummy block. Really? It was because of those beacons, those lights, they were able to constantly feed into the gummy block, preventing most things from going beyond them that they wish to keep out. Unfortunately, it was not strong enough to protect the great tree, but it was sustainable for a while. Whoever came up with the system was far beyond any sort of intelligence I've ever met since, or probably would ever even see in my lifetime. Did you say that every one of them was lit? Uh, I believe so. At the time, I believe there were around eight great lights throughout this region. The rest of the world? Uh, when it comes to the continents beyond the oceans, I barely ever make my way over there. But by the time I would have seen them, the outer shell would have already collapsed. And as for the continent here that I find myself the, re the reigning king over... Yes, I believe it was eight. The reason even that we had moved the great city that people would come in contact with, at least at the time, was because I wished for them to not worry about uh, being in the presence of the great eight lights. Unfortunately, there was a problem that happened once more and more migrants made their way to this place. One of the great lights was stolen and taken off world. Stolen? You could just take it? If something is physical, then yes. Unfortunately. Oh, it's a <laughs> we were able to track it down eventually, but it was in a position that was no longer sustainable. And with one of the great eight lights taken down, the other seven began to be strained. I don't know if it, they were just wishing to put output more, or maybe they were always meant to be strained. I don't understand, to be quite honest. But with all of those lights not in balance any longer, we ended up shutting them down. To find them being lit again is interesting. I have no issue with them being lit, if that is what you're worried on. If anything were to happen to this place, I would just stop it, so... If you wish to light as many of them as you want, go right ahead. If you can even find a way to light the Eighth, perhaps that would be something that you should attempt. But when it comes to the lights themselves... 
I'd say half would suffice for any sort of things you might need. These Heartless, while they are formidable, they are not invincible. And if those lights are something that can fight them, the four of you could only very well hold one of the lights each. Any more, taking any more of their energy into yourselves would be risky. R risky? Well, these lights are powerful. Far too much, far too powerful for any mortal form. Perhaps if Gilgamesh was at his height as a dragon, he could take maybe two of them into himself, but I feel that right now it would destroy you all to even attempt to try to do so. That being said, it doesn't even look as if you're wishing to weaponize them for your own selves. You're using them to protect parts of the city, are you not? Hmm, <laughs> hmm. It looks like when we, uh, when we use them, they create some sort of, uh, light force field. I thank you. And that's been keeping people mostly safe. I've been leaving supplies around the lower city whenever I can. It seems that they've been being picked up by the peace takers. Luckily, it doesn't seem as if they have uh, any qualms about taking what I freely give. Either that or they feel that they're stealing them from me. Either way, it isn't that bad. But I did leave one outside of your own area. Hopefully you had got it. I believe one of your uh, associates had went to get it. Really? I do not know their name. Sorry. They had. Well, they uh, wear a strange shawl with a strange. A big old cowboy hat. Yes, the hat seems familiar. Oh, no. Did he say anything about a map? <laughs> <laughs> he did tell did me that a settlement it? needed my help. <laughs> <laughs> he did not refer to me oh yeah, we know who that is. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, we're completely. Don't worry, we know. Him. Yeah, yeah he's a great guy. We got him. <laughs> oh, <Cool>. Prescott. <laughs> So, these lighthouses powered the gummy blood, which made a barrier for your world. More they powered the barrier itself, but yes. I believe if that is the case, then most worlds have something similar that does the same. I'm sure that the people who lived here, the ones who were here before myself, I'm sure that they somehow figured out a way to weaponize it. I'm not entirely sure what that power is, but it is definitely enough to keep the Heartless at bay. For the moment. Tell me, what is underneath the tree? Underneath the great tree? You mean what the great roots? <laughs> <laughs> you mean the underforest? Is there something there of value? There was once a pilgrimage spot down there, from what I understand. People who wish to make their way uh, to find residence here in the... Well, not here. Emotions around where I'm sleeping currently, uh, at the top of the great tree. Those who wish to find residence would find their way going upon a pilgrimage to climb up. And... Because of ancient tradition, I usually allow them entry. They don't usually stay. The altitude up on the great tree is difficult to get accustomed to. But once you are, it's a fantastic place to live. Um, sure. But usually they find that things up here are a bit different than the upper city or even the lower city. So they make their way away. We do not have money upon the great tree we do not have uh, really any work or schedule that needs to be done at any given time we usually just have communal services and things of that nature so i'm sure that those outside 
would find it odd that a place of, well, great admiration that they have once seen works in such a way. Mostly we have museums and different kinds of libraries and things of that nature. The palace uh, usually is open to whoever wishes to see it. And uh, I give weekly introductions of myself to the people in case there's any who have made their way there or need to understand the politics of the land. I've been told that it can get rather stuffy after a week or so being there. The brothers would have found no addition here, I'm sure. Tell me, are there heartless up there? Not a one. Really? I have not seen a single heartless make its way to the top of the great tree. Even the emblem dwarfs? There is only one that I ever found that even made its way close. And that was the one that all of you saw upon coming to this place. The really big one. <laughs> when that large heartless had showed itself, it appeared to be wanting to climb the great tree. It brings me to believe that no heartless can form up here. Maybe the roots or the petrified wood of the great tree is too powerful, or maybe it is sacred ground, or maybe something else is going on with it. Maybe it's so ingrained with the life of the world. But I have not seen a single heartless make its way up here. Could a heartless show up here? Possibly, but... Not without my understanding, I don't think, unless something else brought it, or it could fly, or something of that nature. I've been keeping rather vigilant, however. So there's nothing of value in the tree roots, and heartless can't spawn at the top of the tree. Well, the roots... I suppose the valuable thing might be the, the tree. If, they're, if they can't spawn there, maybe it's just like the heart of the world. The roots go all the way throughout the world. The underforest is akin to an entire new surface of this world. Going down there, you could spend your entire life. It wouldn't be odd to me if you'd think that someone from another continent or somewhere far away from my influence might have even settled there. Maybe there's a city there. Maybe there's a full metropolis for all I know. In my times being under there, I have found nothing, and the roots of the great tree are so labyrinthine that it would be impossible to go through, even in my lifetime fully. <clears throat> I believe that if I would have came to this world and searched to this very day, perhaps I would still have a fourth or more to go. Why would someone desperately try to enter the woods. Hmm. Perhaps it is, if it is as Zarel says. Perhaps the tree itself is their purpose, but thanks to the tree being unfortunately dead, um, petrified as it is, even if you were to try to poison the tree, nothing would happen to it. It does not take in nutrients any longer. Um, Are you certain it's dead? He looks toward the two of you as he does. I would like for both of you to roll me for your instinct. Let's go, baby! <laughs> Yay! Oh, who took my insight? All my things my are black. All my things are black now. Yeah, it's weird. Anyway. <laughs> I see my fucking card hasn't changed, though. Mm. Oh, your card? What happened? I still see Oh, yeah, only I, one didn't, I didn't put your thing on there. My bad, my bad. Don't worry, we'll, we'll okay. add you one right now. We'll, we'll add it in post. Were we supposed to get another, yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, another uh, action point thing? Yeah, we're going to do that later. I, I, I said we were going to do it at the end of the game, but I forgot. We'll don't do worry about me. It's a six. Okay. 12, 14. I don't know if I like that. Gilgamesh. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. Mm -hmm. <laughs> no, you, right, you, so were, just, you were just, humming. I just, uh, I just like, you know, I don't like I like that number. It's 14. But Let me up. check and see if there's any fleetings. There is a. And then I write text. There is an inspiration for the Gilgamesh. Oh. And there's one that says for the dad talks. I think that means it's for Zarel from Lotus School. I don't know. 
I mean, it goes as much as all of that, so we're not sure what this means. <laughs> Both of you roll so me I again. Rolled, I rolled a fucking 12. <laughs> Yay! That's another goddamn plus. <laughs> also, for the roll, mm -hmm. I will. I rolled it. lower than before. <laughs> All, right. All right, you got. Are you both keeping it? Yeah, I'll take the four chief. Okay. Think the real Gilgamesh had children in this world? Oh, most certainly. Gilgamesh. Hell oh, yeah. You're not sure, but whenever you ask that question in particular, the mood around Lord Akron seemed to change slightly. He does seem to hesitate for a moment before saying, Yes, I'm sure. The great tree has been dead for quite a long time. There must be something down there. Something valuable. You can feel free to make your way there yourself if you'd like. I could allow you to make your way in from the great tree. Normally, it would mean that all of you would have to find a way to gain citizenship, of course, in the great tree, but you are members of the party of Zarel. Even... Hmm. He stops as if trying to find a, a way to explain it without, like, just saying it as it is. Even without you being Sodalite, you are still someone who I wish to aid in any way that I can. Hmm. I, I understand the topic can be specifically tenuous, considering it, well, you know how it goes. But either way, any help we can take, it's deeply appreciated. I will warn you, going into the Underforest is a daunting task. You can let me know whenever you are ready. I will make preparations as best I can. Perhaps I might even establish some kind of trade or some kind of uh, camp or something down there for you. But please take your time and think before making your way there. Well, yeah, of course, according to you, we could be there forever. So I suppose it is something we should have to think about a little. <laughs> At least for you, Zarel, forever is something that is possible. But for most of us, it's something that is a little out of mine and Gilgamesh's range, if not by much. At least he's still treating you like a dragon. <laughs> so, why would it be out of your range? He just, he just kind of nods. <laughs> it's like, we live a long time. Not forever, but we live a long time. <laughs> um, something weird about why you say it. <laughs> yeah, it's like, alright, I'll, I'll get there. Give me a moment. Yeah. Why would it be out of your range? Hmm? Well, you're a, you're a cherish, are you not? It should be fine. Oh. Uh, no, I'm not. Oh. Well, that's awkward. <laughs> um, you mean? Um, sorry. Is that... I guess I did never tell you. Uh, I assume that you might still know some things of your previous life. Sometimes I get some memories, but not many. Not many. No, I am... No, Cherish. As I mentioned to you before, I came to this world long and long ago. He did say that earlier. <laughs> yeah, he did. Gomez hasn't brought it up. He's listening. <laughs> this is something that, as I mentioned, if I would have even came and started searching once I came to this world, making my way beneath it, searching all my days would still not be done with. So... Yes. Why, why admit this so freely? Admit what? You're not a Cherish. Is that not the reason you're in charge? The reason I'm in charge? Cherish always rule this world. Oh, no. I thought it was dragons. <laughs> a dragon always rules these lands. In all the time that I've been here and previous before me, 
There has only ever been a dragon who has ruled over this planet. At least, before everything. When this land was still only ruled by the Cherish and what other races potentially might have been here that created them, I'm sure things were different, but myself and the two dragons who preceded me were the ones who lived here. I don't know whether or not either of them were Cherish themselves, but I myself am offworld, though I've spent more of my life here than I have off of it. I did not immediately become the ruler of this world whenever I first showed myself. I was actually one who spoke, at least very briefly, with the previous king of this place. But by the time I saw the second dragon, they were not one that I could agree with in a lot of ways. They were also extremely old at the time, so... There were little things that we could really, uh... Not say I don't want one. Yes, they were not a bad ruler, I'm sure, and they made this land prosper in their time. But it has also led to some problems with the second dragon in particular. Uh, I'm sure that you, since you have made your dealings with Koklakot, know about the cult activity that had popped up around them. Oh, yeah. We 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 knew a lot about that. Blood magic seemed to be a similar nature here, as to my words. That was unsurprising, but in itself was strange. I'm sorry, Zarel. Hmm. I know that before I had said that Sodalite was my son, I must have given you the wrong idea in thinking that I was a Cherish. I am very sorry for misleading you. <laughs> oh, don't, don't worry. I was more... I was more just wondering for, for I suppose, other reasons. Well, if that's the case, it makes me happy that you wish to know something about me. It's like real life. I had an idea and it just left me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Greatest, greatest roleplay moments of all time. <laughs> you don't see this shit in Dimension 20 or whatever. I mean, we're 40 I'm games in, here. man. Yeah. I'm sitting here like, fuck, I wish I was here. Yeah. He keeps like, please, 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 please. As I um, said, we had made some preparations for you in the upper city. Um, unfortunately, those preparations are probably down at this point, but if there is ever a time you wish to partake in any of them or make your way to do any shopping or anything of the sort, you can make your way there. I've also left you, I guess, unless it is something that you wouldn't like, I left you a bit of, uh, well, I suppose you could call it your inheritance. Inheritance? Not everything. Um, a lot of it would stay with me, especially since I don't know what your plans are for the future. Oh, but... well, you're not dead. <laughs> <laughs> but um, there is uh, a bit of what Sodalite had collected in his time. Oh, I suppose it would, I guess it would be my inheritance in a weird way. <laughs> the incarnation is strange. What? I'm sorry. What made you sure that I am Sodalite? Roll me once again for your insight. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? I want to use that fake art now. <laughs> oh, okay. All Here right. We go. Let's let's yeah, let's roll that karma. Let's let's fucking let's fucking roll it. Let's 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 anyway, shuffle and draw. I forgot. Okay, it came close now. <laughs> I found it. Okay, uh, I got a coin. Let's see. Effigy! Uh, I got what Effigy. Are you doing? Oh, wonderful. We have Effigy right over here. 
Yeah. Uh, we only know the neutral and bad effects, so you want to roll for it? Yeah. I mean, it would be really funny if we both got a fidget again and we just had to break our legs again. <laughs> <laughs> uh, let me get the thing up very quick. That way I can read it aloud for everybody. Because uh, last you... time we broke our leg. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, for the effigy, I'm going to zoom in on the effigy so people can see the awesome art for it. Um, yeah. <laughs> there we go. For the effigy, neutral, ask another player if they will share the consequences of this card with you. If yes, yes. roll for the good or bad effect of this card. If no, both players gain two guidance points. So, Zarel, who are you going to ask this time? Uh, Hey, are you a pussy? <laughs> <laughs> Let's go. Awesome. Let's fucking go. All right. Also, did you see the art I did? Let me go look. It's, very, it's really cool. Let me go look. It's, Ooh. How, the, how the fuck do you do this in tabletop? Ooh. It's really good. This is really good. It's transparency, goddamn, baby. That's this real good. I, I seriously need to just like start taking screenshots Can of your things and make Can we take this card and make it a Yu-Gi-Oh card? <laughs> That'd be uh, fun, I made yeah. a screenshot. I put it in the KH chat, so oh, you did. I got it. Yeah. Very nice. It should be high quality too. All right, I so awesome. go ahead and roll me this. Roll me yeah. this dice here. Uh, yeah. I need you to give me higher than an eleven, please. Easy. That's a oh. nineteen. Easy. 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 Okay. <laughs> So, we didn't get the good effect of this before. I think we've got the good effect of this in another game. I don't remember, but we have the good effect of this did. now. Have we not? Okay. Mm -mm. I, don't, I don't think so. I think this is the only game we got Apogee in. Let me copy, and we're gonna paste it onto the onto the main Apogee here. This is that we have. We finally have all the effects of a card on here. Holy shit! Ray. The good effect of the effigy. Both players gain one permanent stat point in the same stat and one stamina, health, or action point equivalent. So for this game, oh. it would be an, it'd be an AP. Uh, again, oh. of the same type. These can either be temporary or permanent depending on the situation. I'm gonna say, fuck it. We'll have it be permanent for this one. Because we love each other very much. I just, 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 just cuz. <laughs> just cuz the other one, we still have our legs broken, Gilgamesh and so, I, when we did a double pirouette. So the two of mm -hmm. you, what stat do you want to increase? You have to increase the same stat. What do you think, buddy? Hmm. Hmm. While you guys are thinking, I'm going to go over that freaking Muna art again. Holy shit. <laughs> it's really good. I have a mana bolt to whatever. Say. Just choose whatever. You know what would be really funny? What? Insight. Yeah, baby! Single brain cell point from Hebe King. All right. Each of you will gain one insight, which just means that we're going to get rid of this negative on, uh, on Zarel's. <laughs> Yeah, it's a bonus. And each of you are going to be gaining one AP. Is it going to be a red AP, a blue AP, or a green AP? So I chose one. You could choose the other. Green AP, baby. Green AP is the potential hardest to come by, so it makes sense. <laughs> Me sitting here with four green AP. <laughs> well, that's because you started with an extra one. <laughs> it's like, fuck you. I don't know. That's not my problem. This is my whole bit. This is, this is who I am. And this is your bit. I want to consent to something. Ask me anything and I'll get it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's dangerous. Anyway, I can I have a million dollars? So anyway. Um, a million dollars? I don't know. I, anyway, this, this isn't helping oh my current situation. I'm yes, gonna wrench you, your dig once more. You will still have to you will still have to roll me for that uh for that heckin' uh insight. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna wrench yeah. your dick once more. I wanna see if I can get out of this. Oh, what are you doing? I'm giving you another one. Oh, okay. Let's go fucking do it again. All right. <laughs> do I also have to roll an insight? Or is insight. that just Zarel? Thorns again. Fucking God. We've well, got a lot well, of thorns well. in this game. At least we know the good, <laughs> neutral, and bad for it already. So yeah, yeah, do you want to take half just... your total health and damage and gain a shield equal to that amount? Uh, yeah, okay. 
Or do you want to roll for the good or bad effect? <laughs> It'd be really funny to just randomly take random ass damage. <laughs> oh, my spidey. Yeah, okay, let's do it. Okay, cool. It's actually very funny because I'm I'm literally just going to have you give yourself fucking 70, 70 shield. Yeah. Uh, Mostly, or I guess it'd be 50 shield because your health is 100. Yeah, so give yeah. yourself 50 shield. Um, you're sleeping right now, so you're probably gonna yeah, gain all that health back, so it doesn't matter. You don't matter. feel anything, but you do feel. <laughs> ah! I'm gonna, I'm like, gonna say this. Just asleep, I, I'm gonna, I'm gonna blood. say that because, um, because of this, uh, I'm gonna, we're gonna have to rely on Gilgamesh for this because I say that that's enough of a deterrent for you that you don't get the insight check. <laughs> that makes sense. <laughs> For so some reason, I, as you as you ask this question and as you look forward toward him, you get such a you feel such a cold sensation. It's almost painful going through you for a bit. Uh, as you see that uh, you see that Lord Akron looks to you, uh, Gilgamesh. Why don't you roll me that insight? It was an appropriate solo question. <laughs> <laughs> The cold feeling is the blood leaving you. So I rolled a 14. Should I roll cold, again? The or? cold feeling is the blood leaving you. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, so much to do the row for the roll, so, and then it has to be. Man, so, 15 uh, plus water. Water. <laughs> Did I miss anything? Yeah, 16 is my total for insight. You can tell from Zarel asking that question uh, how do you know I was so delighted? You can tell that there is a thought going through in front of you that is very conflicted. There's a very conflicted look on their face as they stare at Zarel. You then also notice Zarel looking very pained. Um, the best I can give you with a 16 is mm -hmm. you feel that there probably is more to it. As he looks to you, Zarel, he does respond eventually with a... I feel that it would be hard to not know. Is that the reason? Do you have kids, Gilgamesh? No. While the realm is not my flesh and blood, It would be saddening if I could not find understanding of one that I was so close to. If I could not recognize my own brood, then I don't know if I deserve anything of this. I'm curious. How did Soda Light come to be your brood? It was actually very simple. He looks over toward you, Zarel. When Soda Light had first found me, they were a freshly born Cherish. One that unfortunately was being hounded by a certain group of individuals for what they were. They were the first dragon cherish I had ever seen. When I had seen them and whenever I had seen what was going around them and the people that were drawn to him, it only made sense to me that that would be the person that I would hand everything down to. I had found my successor, but I had not yet found my son staying with them whenever I did keeping them as close as they were and well they showed me different things about the world that I had forgotten it is because of my son that I was eventually able to find solace even without them. 
Sodalite left me something after he perished. He left me a note. One that he wanted me to remain happy no matter what happened to him. I believe that Sodalite knew that something unfortunate was going to happen to him. <sighs> he knew that that bastard would kill him. That bastard? Gilgamesh <laughs> shoots a glance towards the rail like, mm. A very close individual. You knew that. Hmm? This person, you were close to them. Yes. As close as I have ever been to anyone. Except maybe Sodalight and my queen. Hmm. And this question was going to ask if it was your queen. No. My queen, unfortunately, uh, was not around to see Sodalite. She was far too young for that. Then who's this bastard? You see him push himself up from the piano, not caring that Parts of the piano just started blaring out a note when he did. As he stands up and looks back to it, there is a noticeable crack that comes from it as he lifts his hand from the wood of the, uh, of the piano. He rubs his hand over it for a second as if mourning uh, what he had just done before looking back. I am not in a grand place at the moment to speak on them, but they just a name would be sufficient. A name. You don't want to go into details. He thinks for a second, closes his eyes. <laughs> that bastard Michel Zahar. Zahar. The one who ruined my life. You hear cracking going throughout the place. As you do, you guys notice that bits of the ground around you begin to crack. You then remember from your own uh, experiences in dreamscapes, as you look down, you realize why this place was so familiar. This is the heart of Lord Akron here. As you uh -oh. see this black stained glass beneath him cracking and falling into the darkness. Uh -oh. As he looks up to both of you. I hope to see you again. So. Zorakron? Zorel. As he steps away from the. As he steps away from the piano, the area all around him cracks, and the two of you do fall. As you <gasps> fall. You fall for seemingly only a second, only a moment, but all of the wind seems to leave your and seems to leave your lungs by the time you awake with a start where you were sleeping. He just looks out the the, wind, out the the windows of the outside. Is it morning yet? So that's what they call a high school dream. <laughs> a high school dream? 
Yeah, the ones where yeah. you were suddenly back in high school and are no longer wearing your pants. <laughs> we weren't worried about Lord Akron's, um, you know, allegiance. I now say that Lord Akron's evil. Look how black their heart was. They had a very black heart, yes. <laughs> I think that we are very close to unlocking epic the Warsman logs. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the only thing as the two of you awake, in whichever position you guys were in, I'm guessing that you were in your own areas that you usually sleep at. So Zarel, yeah. you were probably up in the second floor area, <laughs> close to the rails here. And uh, I think it'd be really funny if Zarel again went to sleep, like we just went back to doing a sleep party with Gilgamesh, AKA being in Gilgamesh space and refusing to leave. Oh yeah, Def, okay. <laughs> <laughs> you guys there were just up, you guys just up in Gilgamesh's place. <laughs> the Sleeping both party. of you. Oh God, the Horrors. The both of you wake with a start uh, together. Uh, as you do look about, it does seem to be more. It does seem to be morning. And it looks from the look on each other's faces as you guys look up and look to each other, you're decently sure you had the same dream. <laughs> I would have to guess that you were also dreaming of something that involved you and me and us or another man. Michelle has answers to give. He just gets up. <laughs> uh, he's like, he's like, he, he's like, you know, like, I love the, I love the, the, the dichotomy. You're exhausted, going much just more energized than he's been. I had mentioned early on in the campaign, whenever Sodalite was mentioned, Sodalite's been dead for around 40 ish years. And that's also around how long Michelle has been in Michelle's here. Been, yeah. <laughs> he murdered that fucking egg and then he got sent to jail. The thing that I'm pointing out is that the king does not seem to care if we activate these lighthouses. He does not. I mean, from what he thinks, he probably killed Michelle. <laughs> he didn't. Uh -huh. He didn't expect Michelle to to live through all of that. Even Michelle, like, hey, Michel what are you talking about? Even Michelle was like, I probably shouldn't have lived through all this, but I've done it. <laughs> I'm so cool. <laughs> That's how I feel every day. <laughs> you guys wake up. You immediately get into the lift area. Uh, that is that is the uh, the thing that brings you guys down from the tower. As you guys step out into the morning, I will say that Hibiki and Muna, you guys probably would have been up for a little bit at this point. You guys probably would have woke up, had your breakfast. I have everybody in a line here. They're around. <laughs> I, did, I didn't expect yeah. I don't expect that they're the ones on the top of your list to talk to right now, but they're no, around. No, going on right now. <laughs> they're all if you want to place them in any random orientations around this place, you can. I don't care. Um, oh but... sick baby. <laughs> Bring on <out> the sword. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, they I've got the babel. <laughs> Also, these free fucking golden nuggets have been aligned. You give her back her nuggets. <laughs> I'm sorry about your nugs, girl, but they were in the uh, way. Give me. But yes, but yes, Wait, Hibiki me? and Muna, you guys would have been awake for a little while. Uh, you guys would have probably already had your your breakfasts, your fest breaks, um, and at this point uh, would be most likely discussing what to do with with the new day whenever you guys would see and hear the uh, uh the lift basically crashing into the ground on the op opposite side of you <laughs> hold on let me let me set the scene hold on okay so moon i think that we need to go up to the upper city so we can get some armor hey <laughs> <laughs> oh. me home, hey gilgamesh is awake <laughs> You and guys Pharrell. see, you guys see Gilgamesh storming out. Gilgamesh, we don't have to be so about it. We can, we can talk, have a nice, calm talk about this right now, Gilgamesh. I. What's going we on? Need, we need to talk to Michelle. Okay. Now. He became Muna. As you guys yes. would see these guys getting there making their way over toward where Michelle is. 
you guys would see that Michel is currently looking as if they are meditating in the center of where their prison used to be. As the two of them make their way to it, uh, what would the two of you like to do? Would you like? Would you guys like to like to come over with them? What's what's going on with you guys? It seems. So, yeah, so anyway, I think we should go to the upper city. Check out the It seems like they're upset up or something. We should probably go talk with them. <laughs> yeah. uh, Lilith, you're not there. <laughs> can't hear you. If you're saying anything, apologies. What happened? They were talking to you. It's okay. Well, Muna was just in her own little world twirling her hair. Muna was twirling her hair. While we she did. was thinking about the trees and having indigestion. <laughs> never. Too medieval for a flashback to Vietnam. <laughs> uh, I remember that one kid that I gave that I gave magic powers to. Wonder how they turned out. Oh right, they turned evil. Fuck. All right, evil. All right. They caused Vietnam. Hmm. They caused oh, Vietnam, right? Water what Vietnam. What was his name? Saruman. Oh, no. <laughs> I taught Marcel a lot of things. I hope she doesn't use dark magic. <laughs> You guys would make your way over as Hibiki's like, we should probably check on them. They're being angry. Um, Gilgamesh, you would make your way over to Michelle again. Michelle seems to be meditating uh, in the center of the, uh, the area that was their prison. They seem to be holding the book that is them uh, open upon their lap, just sort of sitting in the center. We still can't, we still can't approach the fucking prison. No, the prison is gone. So, oh. Cool. Yeah, that that area up. that area no longer has any any magic uh, voltage. Yeah, shit the boy going is on. free. Yeah. Oh, cool. The boy is free. The boy him free. The tiger is out. I don't know if he's tangible. I'm just gonna walk up to him. Ah, good morning. You walk up to Michelle. <laughs> he's gonna he's gonna take the book. You go to reach for the book. You find that. When you go to take it from him, his hands are locked onto the book. As they are locked onto the book, Gilgamesh, roll me for your strength. Okay. <laughs> That's fine. So simple. Okay. Let's go. A big funny number. Do they get Eight, a plus 18. for eating their flower cheese? 18? <laughs> I'm not going to make you roll again. You, you'll, you'll find. You're good. Uh, we'll, we'll hold on to your to your fleetings. Uh, as you grab onto the book, you do find there is a solid grip on the book. You fight against it for a second. You don't expect someone of Michelle's physiology to have any sort of strength. Uh, as you try to yank it from him, though, eventually it does give. You pull it out from his grip. And as you do, you see Michelle sort of stumble back for a second. Uh, 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 excuse me. Uh, he just slams the book shut. Uh, Gilgamesh, good morning. <laughs> <laughs> How are you this day? Bad. Seemed like it. Bad dream. Yes. You could say that. Bad dive. Die. Okay, what the hell's going on? We had a talk. Zarel and I had a talk with Akron. Oh. He just looks at Michelle. He just looks at Michelle. No, complete straight face. You have him. You he has. He, as mm -hmm. you say that, he has his hand up to up toward his chin. Which again, you only see a silhouette of him. But you, he's seemingly mm -hmm. stroking his chin like. You were able to speak with him in your dream. That's interesting. Mm. Has he advanced so far in his magics beyond that in all these years? His dive was different. It was pitch black. But I have a question for you. Of course. Why did you kill Sodo? What? What? Oh, I guess Zarela was there too. He didn't see what. <laughs> <laughs> no, I was, I'm, I, I, I'm thinking about things. <laughs> There's a long pause as the silhouette looks back to you. I 
don't know how to respond to that, Gilgamesh. Sodalite, by that you mean the prince. The being before Zarel. Well, I had already spoken to you about how I ta I took Zarel's egg before. Um, I know of the fact that Sodalite had died. I was not the one that killed them. Akron would disagree with that. Akron believes that you killed Sodalite. Did you bring me up in front of Akron? No, he did it himself. No. He, he mentioned that best. <laughs> and when pressed, he gave. What was it? Michelle Zahir? Remember that, Ratiko? Michelle Zahar. So, Michelle Zahar. He. Full named me. <laughs> <laughs> he full named you, Michelle. <laughs> oh, good. He yeah, full I, named I, you. I, I'm Michelle Smith. I'm a different name. <laughs> I am. I am Michelle Zahar. Yes. Uh, though I like to go by Michelle. Um. I hope could you not having. Could you explain more of your interactions with him, please? Gilgamesh will hand the book back. Let me, sure let me turn him isn't... around so he has he has the book in his hand. There we go. Yeah. <laughs> I sure hope this isn't a another imposter situation. This could be valuable information. <clears throat> Zarel and I found ourselves in a pitch black place, Akron, playing a piano. That damn song, the host of Don, 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 you know, like, um, oh, don, you, don, you, don, don, twinkle, don. twinkle, kingdom hearts, yes. That one. Mm. Yes. <laughs> you were speaking to that about things. I was not sure it was truly him. Another trick by Boa, is my suspicion, but the more he talked. The magics that were used would not be something I believe that... Well, I can't say for sure, but I don't believe that anyone such as Boa could use them. The magics of the heart are extremely difficult to learn. Uh, that is how I was able to connect with all of you, if you remember. Yes. I remember quite poorly, yes. It was only that, too late to think that we that remember. do that, but I... So you spoke to him, and the conversation somehow turned to Sodalite. Yes. And Lord Akron believes me to be the one behind Sodalite's death. That Are you? That bastard, is he stupid? If you were responsible for his death, how did you have his egg? That should have been something that he would have likely have kept her lock and key, right? The egg oh, would have immediately turned into such after Sodalite's death. The reason I had their egg is actually because of a precaution that Sodalite themselves came up with. It always appeared that Sodalite might have known more about his own demise than even I or anyone else could have. Sodalite's egg came to me... Well, I was going to say in a dream, but that would be a far more... Uh, be far more poetic than anything. And he did go to my bed uh, while I was sleeping. I had felt the presence of, a ma of my own magic activating throughout the air, and Sodalite's egg appeared before me. I was shocked at the time, yes, because, well, the prince at that point would be dead. I knew it was their egg, they're the only one I cast the magic upon, but it it didn't... It wouldn't make sense for you to kill someone to have them appear near you. No, not even that. It. I would... I would never... And Lord Akron should know that. I would or could never 
harm a hair on Soda Light's head. Give me a reason why. Soda Light. I suppose you could say he was sort of like a son to me. <laughs> Game <Aaron! laughs> Do you think that or are you out of character? Yeah. <laughs> I'm like out of character. <laughs> <laughs> He's all going, gay marriage. I would never harm a hair on Soda Light's head. In fact, whenever Soda Light came to me talking of these precautions, I thought that they were trying to figure out some way to help the Cherish in, in general. But in my 40 years here in isolation, I can only imagine that Soda Light knew of their incoming demise. We had only even made the plan a week prior, and it's the type of spell that I would need to continually cast. I only ever cast it once. I only ever had the time to cast the spell once, and he had already died. <sighs> what I thought was mere precaution or experimentation turned out to be something vital. God only knows what would have happened if he was killed and then the egg destroyed. The hell mm. that Akram would have unleashed upon this world. But then it was directed at you. If this is the case. And quite viciously, it would look like. Well, that wasn't the reason I was put here. Oh. No. I told you the reason I was put here. I was put here because of the secrets I knew. Akram freely He did not mind the. He told us he was not cherished. No provocation from us. Of any kind. What? He just <laughs> said it. I, just, I, I asked him if he was, and he said no. And then he apologized for giving Terrell the misinterpretation by calling him his son. Per Perhaps it was simply because the two of you are close? No, that's dumb going on something's not adding up here I have to admit things are quite confusing and dicey on both parts I have, so a sneak, wait. I have a sneaking feeling Akron believes you are dead well yeah but and I was hoping it would stay that way seems like it is at least so far so wait if he hated Michelle Zahar that much shouldn't he know that we've been messing with the lighthouses the lighthouses aren't anything related to me i have no true relation to them i might have learned how to use them but that, that's not what i meant hmm. you were put here if he had put you here he should be more cautious about these things even if it would be like a small chance because i know you said that this would be like this should have killed anybody else Lord Akron underestimates everyone around him. He hmm. thinks himself invincible to a point that he does not even watch his back. Unlike previous rulers of this land, he finds himself to be someone that is without equal. As such, anything that even gives him the hardest, the slightest amount of trouble surely would kill another person. I'm alive only because of that. The fact that Akron trusted that this thing would kill me without doing it himself. He wished to inflict the most pain possible on me. But the reasons you're here are different than what he told them. Either Akron is lying. He looks over to Zarel. But I doubt that. I doubt that very much unless he's changed in these 40 years. Either Akron right. is lying or something is wrong. Very wrong. Incident. He also, he just turns to the others. He also claimed Heartless have never once set foot on the tree. Direct conflict with Boa said. Beyond the big one that we saw before? 
Besides what, that, what he did Boa say that. about Heartless? Go over his words again, Mibiki. Fuck. <laughs> I can tell you, but I won't, but that I don't know. Session 40, baby. That, that, that no one wouldn't recognize them. Even if they looked at them directly, they might not be able to tell the difference between them if they don't know the symbol. I did ask about the emblem. He said the same thing. There are none of them. Perhaps that's how he's able to continue bringing them there. Perhaps even under Lord Akron's own nose. Again, he finds himself infallible. He is a dragon. Hmm. This would make sense. <laughs> Not all dragons are like that, but I agree that that is a common trait. <sighs> all too common. I'll admit. At any rate, there's clearly something wrong. Also, our heart dive supposed to be stained glass, stained pure black. I have never shared a heart with as many people as I have now. Previously, I'd only shared a heart with two or three at any given time. I don't I get that. I don't know what things are, but I will tell you this. The last time I saw inside of Lord Akron's heart, it was very vibrant. That is not what we would call it now. We were not sure we were in that place at first. It was simply just that dark. It's strangely familiar. Perhaps the loss of his son and wife have caused their heart to go dark. Even mine was vibrant, was it? Very. What you lack in any sort of, uh, well, in a lot of morality you made up for in stride and passion. <laughs> morality. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, you have three options before you. You can trust what I say. You can trust what Lord Akron says, or you can follow what you had believed yesterday that something else is going on and someone else is pulling the strings. I am more readily able to believe you now. There are way too many things that are going wrong with this than I could overlook. I... <sighs> I wish I could talk to him. But I know Maybe that if so I do... <sighs> if I do, there is a chance he'll kill me on sight. So you need someone in the middle. I don't even know if it would be good to do, to do that. If he thinks that I'm the one that killed Sodalite, anyone who talks to him would be in the same danger I would be. There will be a time and place for everything. I think the only one that might have a chance of convincing him is, is Rel. That's something I've been wondering, actually. I was thinking... Just... No, just... It does not make sense. If you had been the one who had killed Sodalite, I feel like even if I had known nothing about my previous life, I would have had some inkling of who had killed me. Reincarnation is messy. <laughs> Was not a thing that they said Cher should be able to recall some things? I recall easily. some things. I recalled something at some point when we were at that other area that we were just in, but not a lot. Your memories still haven't come to you. <laughs> no, nothing. Well, I suppose some things, but nothing concrete. I wonder why. strange 
You're not supposed to remember everything, but... No, you should know who killed you. My first instinct is to say it's Boa, only because did you the cause of so much other pain. Did you feel that at all whenever you saw him, Zarel? Feel... <clears throat> whenever Boa, you saw... no, I had not felt any sort of this man has killed me energy. I suppose that he could have done it with anything else if it was him. He's the number one suspect on my list right now. It is the simplest answer from what we have. He has been able to control Heartless. Perhaps he has other things beneath him, but Sodalite was a powerful dragon. Hmm. Did Sodalite look like this? No offense, Zarel does not strike me immediately as a dragon. Oh, Sodalite and Zarel look vastly different. Mm. Sodalite before was uh, actually very small and fair skinned. Mm. The scales are similar. Mm. Interesting. These apes, these church apes, have found me moving along. I believe it is to uh, separate them further than the one that had them before. They are mm -hmm. meant to have their own lives, after all. <laughs> Every Cherish, whenever they are reborn, they usually find a new sense of self. Perhaps when they were created, that is something that was important to their um, to their creators. Well, does your new sense of self feel like you'd want revenge? I am not particularly a person of revenge myself, no. But this person's messing with two of my four dads, so let's go. <laughs> two of my four dads. <laughs> we have a very odd family tree. <laughs> Your family tree's like. Or... I have two people who I care about who seem to not get along very well. And I would like to help fix that any way I can. Why are dad involves why solving dad my own murder? <laughs> yeah, my dads are fighting. <laughs> And your sister in law as well. <laughs> and do you know that episode of SpongeBob where, like, a Squidward breaks up SpongeBob and Patrick by pretending to be them with. I think we could have the greatest <laughs> ending to any campaign ever since Digimon right now. <laughs> <laughs> Oh lord. You just walk right up to him. You're under arrest. Campaign over. <laughs> <laughs> I have arrested you. <laughs> it's the, it's, we're speeding the Adachian. <laughs> but yes. Oh my god. As Michelle <laughs> says this, looks about. This doesn't change a lot with what we have to do. I still suggest we need to get one more lighthouse taken care of. If that is the case, if one more beacon is lit, then I will hopefully attain my new form, or my old form. Uh, once that, that happens, go ahead. You said there were eight lit lighthouses when you arrived, and that they were interacting with the gummy blocks. The gummy block, the world barrier. That. Hmm. I believe that he is correct. He also asked if we've been weaponizing them to absorb their powers. But doing no more than one would kill any of us. Ah. I believe that he's wondering why you're not taking in the power yourself. This was an option the whole time. Uh, I suppose so. But originally you had all agreed to aid me in releasing myself from my prison, so... Mm -hmm. I didn't think that it was something that was on any of your minds. Interesting. You could very well try to take hold of uh, the magics that are here. In doing so, uh, we would need to probably light more of the lighthouses, to be fair. Um, but in doing so, you could find some way of po uh, gaining power in that, in that same sense. Perhaps even mm -hmm. just increasing your magic uh, capabilities to where you could um, maybe even cast some of your magics for free. 
Though, if you mm -hmm. want that, that is an easy thing to teach, to be fair. Um... Uh, so, <laughs> so, I'm sorry, fuck you, boy. <laughs> My guy just randomly drops. You could have cantrips, BTW. By what? the way, your spells can all be cantrips. Are you a, what? No, but... Oh. <laughs> Alright. I was talking about a character. Oh, just yeah, in character. Just like, he just, he, he goes, just, in character, he's like... Mm. Being able to cast magic for free would be nice. I don't have a lot of it. Well, I am at a least, regular human after at all. At least the basic uses of it, which is he like brings his hands together and like separates them like <laughs> like, <laughs> like, <laughs> <laughs> like offensive magic. Like, no, this is how we do it. You mean, do you mean do you mean evocation? Yes. <laughs> The, the very simplest of the elemental magics. You see him bring his hand up and you find that he seems to immediately summon an arrow in his hands. Oh, I haven't said evocation since I was studying it. <laughs> it's what's I've called. just been going. <laughs> it's a lot easier to go. Right? It, this is why I've never respected human mages. Oh, for, 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 for water, it's more like... Uh, so yes, it is more yes, of a... You know yes, yes, yes. <laughs> well, okay. I don't want to talk about balloon. <laughs> so, maybe it's more like... Oh, you did that it is. with your mouth. <laughs> Eva Q, what are you saying? So that is something that I've been curious about. I feel like we've been getting stronger quicker than most people probably should yes exponentially is that something... hmm. it's because all of our hearts are connected you are gaining power as i gain power and because i'm gaining power from you all lighting these lighthouses your own potentials are being further boosted in that way in a way you are powering yourself up with them but not directly through myself I wondered something recently. Hmm. Heartless, how much do you know about them again? About Heartless, not much. Um, what about just hearts? I could tell you a lot about the heart. It's something that was a field of study whenever I was in study. Uh magics that focus on the heart are difficult to master um not very difficult to learn but very difficult to control the okay. fact that i'm able to connect different hearts together that are from far off places even different times is because of the magics that i learned what were you saying muna uh, just just to clarify which heart are we talking about motions to his chest that one. Oh. The thing the heartless consume. Oh, 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 okay. Um, so are you talking about necromancy or are you talking the other? The heart? things that fly out of the heartless when we smash them. The metaphor. That heart. It may be difficult uh, for it to understand. The magic of the heart is something that normally isn't any kind of study, at least on any world I've seen. It is a fundamental of our universe, our collective worlds. The only way that one even learns of it is if they destroy their barrier like this world has done. Oh, yes. For example, the necromancy I was talking about is one of the few reasons you would... That and some healing magic use the heart, but... Necromancy, stuff... unfortunately, is extremely too simple for what it can do. You can learn it, but most people regret it. And if they don't, oh, then difficult things come from it. Um, it yes, I, my brother is mad, yes. It's disrespectful to the body. It's disrespectful to yourself. It's not worth it. In don't some do ways, kids. in some ways, you could make it out to be noble, but it is very hard to do so. Um... Mm. More than that, that's a different topic, but magics of the heart, connecting hearts throughout space and time is difficult. And again, as you mentioned, it is the very thing that 
separates the land of light, or not the land, the realm of light from the realm of darkness. The heartless yearn for them. They feed off of them. They are essentially the essence of the realm of light. Using magics that manipulate them or mess with them in any way, like I mentioned, very difficult. I'm surprised that Lord Akron has learned enough to even go to their station of awakening. Uh, that being said, if there's anything I can do to aid in any of your studies in magic, I believe I can do that now. Um, so, looks over toward Hibiki. If you ever did wish to learn how to perform basic magics like that, I could aid you. What you would probably need better, and I believe this may only apply, only apply to Muna, is to get better equipment. The better equipment you have for casting your spells or even things you would have around you would do better for your magic potential than anything. The idea that you might be able to even store mana in certain articles of clothing uh, could be something that would be interesting to you. Oh, yes. Clothing. That would be very interesting. Also, getting actual yeah. armor instead of walking around with a jacket on <laughs> would probably be better It's very for fetching. Us. We've been Thank perfectly you. fine this entire time, <laughs> and, but we should... Uh, I just want to mention something. While we were on the topic, um... Raising a skeleton army is not that special. It seems special, like, ooh, look at my army. But the reason you see hordes of skeletons is it's the simplest form of necromancy. It's actually not special. It's someone... It's like an artist showing a bunch of stick figures. Like The hardest part of raising skeletons is clearing off the muscle and, and, and skin. <laughs> my brother did mention that was difficult, but he usually made them dance in his... What do we call them? Show to Unless you're that fucking Gorthos and you can just do it all with magic like <laughs> fucking crazy person. And most of the time, <laughs> you set them up, you get them their own little swords and little shields and boop, one hit. I'm glad I banished him to the self world. <laughs> <laughs> Lord in what heaven. A what a dick. And I'm There's playing. a town here that was called Termina. Of course they're real, I wouldn't <laughs> so, Some necromancers use blood okay, golems, so that one's okay. Back my final question about hearts is can heartless creatures get a heart? A real one, not still I can tell you without a doubt in my mind that there are exceptions to every rule. You've seen the emblem Heartless, for example, but that is more artificial. I think that no matter where you look, you will always find an outlier. That's true. A heart isn't what makes you a person, however. As much as it would be great if it was that simple. I believe that you might be right. If you do make your way to go and collect any equipment, as you were talking about Hibiki, the only shops that would probably be around are those who belong to the peacekeepers and potentially the ones that are upon the, uh, the upper city or even the, um, uh, the kingdom atop the uh, great tree. I don't know of the cities to the east of the mountains. They may be intact, but I'm not sure. The only other place that seems fallible, uh, that seems likely, is maybe the area off to the off to the west that you had all planned on going to next. They may still have a working economy. 
it's very difficult to figure things out there. There is a strange force around there, as I mentioned, that seems to be a beacon or something similar. So I would mm -hmm. say that the only way for you to find out if they have anything there is to go. My thought would be go to the upper city. Not only would you be able to find someone there who potentially could give you something, but you may even run into Lord Akron there. Probably. We've known for a while we could go up there, now that the dam's fixed. You see him look over to you, as he does seem to think for a moment. There may even be an easier way. Easier? Ugh. He brings his hand to himself and seems to braise it down toward the ground. Upon doing so, you feel, Muna and Gilgamesh especially, you feel a large amount of magic coming and then immediately dispersing. <laughs> As Michelle seems to rock back a bit. You good? No, still can't do that, huh? I'm sorry, I thought I could bring you there, but I don't seem to have that much control yet. Mm, I understand. There are a few spells I miss using from my home, but have to adjust. Once everything is settled here, if there is a way to either return you or if you wish to stay here, once you are disconnected from me, perhaps those magics may come back to you. Oh, I'm staying. Don't worry. <laughs> Either way, I believe the best option right for right now is to go and collect any kind of equipment for yourself. You know, you don't know what you're going to be finding. And while you did make that area safer, thanks to my moonlight, it still could prove difficult to you. This is the final beacon we're looking for, after all. We'd rather be safe than sorry. You all have money, right? <laughs> yes. Though I don't know how much inflation may have gone on up there. I'm sure. Or how I'm, regulated that is. I'm sure inflation isn't that bad. It wasn't... It's, it's probably fine. <laughs> In a crisis situation? After 40 years... Oh uh, yeah, swords are still like fifty cents, right? <laughs> a loaf of bread, a loaf of bread is still like fifty money, right? You pay for food. <laughs> Hopefully, I'd Both. like to. I'd like to think that Gilgamesh, like, had that same question the first time he went into a human settlement in his world. <laughs> but, yeah, we just cut back. We just cut back to Fredo for a second with Gilgamesh, and then just like. You oh, pay he, just, like, grabs, <laughs> he just like grabs. He just grabs something off a shelf. And he's like, "Hey, hey. Pay, pay for that." And he's like, "Pay for what?" And somebody's just like, "Hey, wait a minute!" You look back at them. Never mind. <laughs> he bites off the top of a, uh, of a of a wine bottle, breaking the glass, putting it out, <laughs> and drinking it. <laughs> I mean, Gilgamesh. I mean, Gilgamesh. You had heard that apparently up in the up in the uh, the actual castle city. Uh, atop the great tree, apparently there's no there's no currency or anything up there. They're just chilling. Mm. We could go to the top of the tree. <laughs> it's not like pretty far. You may find it difficult to make your way up there immediately. No, they don't use currency like the rest of this planet does. That's so true. We could simply take it. They don't have any sort of they don't have any sort of uh, currency or anything they use. They have um, some sort of understanding of ownership, but you should be able to get just about anything you need up there for very little. Trade haggling, I got it. Why? They don't need it. Most of their, uh, I guess, sources of living come from the king himself, Lord Akron as the great cultivator feels that those at least around him that serve him most loyally do not need worry of the rest of their lives. It's one of the reasons why a lot of people flock to him, why a lot of people go through the motions of climbing the great tree. 
My brother had the same setup, except it was a great cathedral, he called it. Hmm. Either way, did. I you know, believe that that is where we need to figure. Once you all have the correct equipment, or if, you, if you'd plan on making your way there now, that doesn't seem like it would be a bad idea either. You are all rather strong in any other respect anyway. If you plan to make your way out of the city and just go straight to the west toward the beacon, I'm not sure how long it will take you to get to that city and how long it would take you to find the beacon, but if you do find it, we could be done with this within the rest of the week. Considering you will be better armed even soon. It's up to you. And then, what do we do from there? What do we do for you? We just disconnect ourselves and what, go on about our days? Oh, definitely not. Once I have obtained my form and all of you are able to draw more on my power, we should be able to find something that we can do about these heartless. Get rid of them, any sort of other stink you wish to wipe from this place. And then, hopefully, figure something out between myself and Lord Akron. If this is truly a misunderstanding, as it seems like it may be, if I could find some way to fix which has been broken, it is only for the best for this <laughs> entire place. There are a lot of things wrong between this odd family and friendships that have been going on with him and you. And the rest of them. I don't know much. Hopefully we can find ways to fix it. I don't know much about this new Lord Akron. Again, I've never known him to have his heart stained black. That being said, you all saw into my heart briefly as well. I cannot say much. My heart was broken in many different ways. Forty years changes someone. I hope that... I hope it didn't change him too much. I sincerely hope that he is not lying to all of you. Uh, believe me, lying I... And someone's gonna blow up into a flame of wrath. And believe me, I... There's not a single person on this earth who is incapable of lying. Not me, mm -hmm. not Lord Akron, not any of you. It's hard to think mm -hmm. of. After I get my form back, there is much to discuss and much to do. Don't worry, Kibiki. All right. Besides, I made my promises to all of you that I would be sure to do whatever it is that you needed once you've aided me. Once we drive the Heartless out of this place, once we make sure this place is safe, I will do my utmost at whatever it is you wish to do. If you wish to attempt to find some way to return to your worlds if they still exist, we will. Or if you wish to find some way to carve out some sort of life here, we will. If you just wish to explore or make your way to the other continent here we'll do whatever perhaps that'd be my, perhaps that's the only place I can get away from Lord Akron <laughs> <laughs> may I ask something it might be a bit personal but go right ahead Luna the final days of you two having a good relationship with each other what were you two doing final days unfortunately isn't something that I can say much on. Before Sodalite's death, we hadn't actually been around each other much. Um, we have or at least we had a bond that didn't need constant validation. We were able to stay close to each other even when we were far away. I it's painful to think of right now, but we 
could easily say that we would know what the other was thinking even without having to ask. The last time I spent any actual time with him, I do believe the two of us had an argument. But even with that argument, we both had a respect and understanding for each other. I see. I don't remember much of my actual capture. A lot of that most likely was lost to me in the very beginnings of my torture. It doesn't seem to be shown here either. Motions to the book. A lot of the pages were destroyed. But I believe The more I think about it, the more I begin to understand that imprisoning me for all this time, wanting wanting me to die or suffer, if he sincerely thought I killed Sodalite, perhaps that is the only way he would have done something like that. Well, it it's probably not the case, but... Perhaps the heart is black now because that's how he views his actions. Despite feeling justified, we'll always feel a regret. The way all of you said it, he had spoke to you as if he was afraid of getting angry and using his own power to the fullest extent. Perhaps you're correct. He did break that piano. I don't want to be too happy about it. Yeah, yeah, no, he, yeah no. he, pe he petted it after, too. Like, oh. <laughs> he, didn't, he wasn't too happy about that. <laughs> How much? He wasn't like, gay murder, you know? Not his heart piano. <laughs> <laughs> Not my symbolic heart piano. Not the piano of my heart. <laughs> that's, a, that's a sick banger to be playing on top 50 of pop. Well, <laughs> guess I have to go into my darkness arc. It's an organ <laughs> now. <laughs> no! <laughs> He's very concerned about how people view him. And he seems to really care about the person that keeps trying to kill him. And does nothing really about it beyond defend himself. I don't know much of uh, the peacekeepers and the person that apparently is his little sister. The Lord Akron I knew did not have family. Well, he had occasion where there was lovers and such, but never anyone he was close to seems as if his queen that he had most recently was someone someone as close to him as sodalite was which is a little infuriating but i understand we still have no clue as to what actually happened there we haven't found anyone that knows anything perhaps you're not Maybe asking can... the correct people Exactly. The ones who would have the most information on th dealings in the castle and the aristocracy would be those in the castle or among the aristocracy. No, well, another name spills of secrets. I think I can think of one person we know that might know something. Oh. It's me, it's every man. <laughs> I can't believe you wants to ask me about castle stuff. That's a, that's that's my brother. My brother Mike can tell you about that. Mike Everyman. Not you. Not you or your family. I'm talking about the green haired. Couple. My brother Mike. He married. He married in, a, in the nobility. That's crazy. You mean Kasha? Yes, Kasha. I was a noble once on my mother's side. I was a noble once on my mother's side. I'm not sure they, that's what they meant by royal. Mm. So <laughs> myself from our mother's side. There we go. Sorry, I'm yeah, you got it. You're fine. <clears throat> I don't even remember. I have a lot lyrics. to think. I have a lot to think about. If you all plan to do any training, come by and let me know. But I think I'd like to meditate on this a bit. Very okay. well. If you do end up making your way uh, toward the mountains today, which you're all strong enough, you might be able to do so without having the proper equipment. If you do end mm -hmm. up making your way into the mountains today, let me know. The best way I would think to do so, he motions over toward uh, the door to the right, 
would be to make your way through the mountain entrance there and make yes. your way down. I feel like we'd be possible, stupid not to. As possible as it is, we were at a huge disadvantage in our last encounter. We will become better equipped. Hmm. It'll be important for the trials ahead. Either way, we should prepare. We now know that how strong they can get. We have also learned that we can wear body armor. <laughs> I don't know why it took us 40 sessions for that. Michel, that Michel nods at you. <laughs> He's like, yep, yep. yep <laughs> that makes sense. Uh, he steps back. He gets back into his meditating position. Uh, the book mm -hmm. open at his lap and you can't see his facial expression, but you do find that he does look up toward where Zarel is uh, before Zarel makes their way away and gives uh, a bit of a wave toward them. Wave, wave. <laughs> As you guys make your way away from that area, I would like to know, we spent a lot of time talking there. Um, uh -huh. So in order to give ourselves the most time possible, uh, mm -hmm. and to get things rolling a little bit uh, for things to do this game. Do you guys want to, A, just go straight into the fucking mountains? <laughs> what's gonna, what, what's the harm? You guys already went after fucking Whisper. What, 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 what out there could be stronger? You're fine. Guard armor. <laughs> What are you doing? <laughs> that is another thing. Shield. That is another thing. You guys know where several bosses are, many bosses <laughs> or bosses. You guys could go out yourselves after them. There are plenty of people to potentially train with while you guys are here. You could potentially try to do that, including now Michelle, who apparently can teach you guys how to use basic magic without using mana. Uh, or you guys can make yourself uh, make your way over toward the peacekeepers or toward the upper city to attempt to buy things. You know you also you also in particular uh Zarel and Gilgamesh know that apparently a parcel uh given to you guys was picked up by uh by a Mr. Prescott at some point we oh, should yeah. we should go ask uh, Mr. Goblin about, about that, that. First, yeah <laughs> well luckily for Prescott Prescott is here they're probably <laughs> out in uh they're probably out in the uh area in front of uh in front of the uh, establishment here. If you guys would like to make your way out there first, we definitely can. And again, just to sort of get things along, uh, you have your little talks, people make your way through. Hey, look, it's Prescott. Um, <laughs> hey, Prescott. You're you always where we need at the convenient time. You guys find Prescott over at the over at the uh, entrance to the library. You note that as you look out, uh, the extension that has happened to the library has gone well beyond uh, your vision at this point. So you do note that Prescott most likely has to have even more area to patrol. Poor guy. Um, no, it's, it's his lab calling. It's fine. As you guys approach him, he goes, Hey, well, what's going on here? Let me out, Prescott. Let me um, out, Zarell. <laughs> I'm glad that it's catching on. I didn't think it would. <laughs> That's a neat saying, I suppose. Uh, nothing like that really I guess there is some stuff like that from where I come from uh, but uh, yeah it's interesting hmm. well we were wondering if by any chance you'd seen any sort of uh, what's the word some sort of package or, or perhaps supply box or some sort of item where things might be oh well, now that you mention it yeah there was a couple of days ago that I found a quite a um, hefty amount of supplies over by where the peacekeepers once were but i left it there for a while without anybody taking it and i thought i should probably at least have some kind of uh, have somebody have some kind of a use for it it was just barely out of our bounds so i dragged it in <laughs> did we i not have heard about it but we hadn't <laughs> uh enough i guess it was laying there <laughs> uh. Well, whenever I opened it, I was surprised. There were, how do I put it? Several things that were interesting to me. They looked like things from my world. From your world? A couple you of them, yeah. You mentioned those are not, you know, you had qualms about those. I did. These were different though. 
it's kind of like how the peacekeepers did it they brought things from my world but then they changed them this one was similar i think somebody had been messing about with what the peacekeepers had done with that weird white flame he motions over toward uh, his pipe pistol as he brings it out you find that uh the pipe pistol looks a little bit bulkier i was able to mess with this thing whenever i looked around at those strange flare guns that they have been using the one that hibiki has there they seem to have a canister they're around the same size as an energy cell uh a ammunition from my world well yeah, understood whenever i saw the package they had several different energy shell energy cells inside of them i was able to figure out how to shoot at them i was actually the reason why i went with uh the keyblade wielder over to fight that giant creature i was able to finally i don't know kind of hold my own it turns out that those things just needed magic to be charged up so she taught me some light magic wonderful incredible mm. so uh i can use this thing called spark now it's apparently oh, oh. basic light magic it is but to get that far you have done more than a lot of people some haven't even gone this far <laughs> turns out that things from my world are decently easy at i guess channeling or absorbing magic so i was able to replicate those uh those shots just by using magic i don't know if i should tell the peacekeepers about that <laughs> We're not sure either. No. It seems it seems quite loaded, actually. Oh, we do. <laughs> Pun not intended. Apparently, we... having a knack for light magic is not rare, but it isn't. Uh, it's uncommon. So, if I were to tell them, they probably could easily start to weaponize that. But maybe Just... it's better than using that flame all the time. I don't know. At this point, I think it'd just be better to, if they don't ask, don't tell. I'm just really interested in that flame now. Obviously, if this spark magic can do what that flame can do, that means that flame is light magic, right? It also seems like it. It also really seems attracted to things from my world, which. Any kind of magic that is interacting with, best I can put it, radiation, might not be good. Maybe My world was like destroyed that by that stuff. My hmm. world does have that. Uh, Clearly, it's similar enough to be playing nice. Think of it as out. more of a uncontrollable miasma. Then in my world magic. in my world we were able to go really far in our technology for war far beyond <laughs> any sort of magic I've even seen coming here the explosions we could do with just a regular weapon in my world is something that I think Muna would probably really want to learn if it was magic indeed You've not seen my world, and you should be counting yourself lucky. You wouldn't survive it. He motion. He like makes a motion to like put your hands together, and make like a circle, like with your fingers yes. and thumb. As he does uh -huh. that to you, we have a weapon no bigger than this that could decimate a city. I could summon black holes at will. <laughs> you know what, buddy? You you know, you're right. First off, you couldn't. Um, <laughs> they don't know that. <laughs> it's bluffing. If you could, that world would have already been destroyed. <laughs> of course, not at will. He had gravity magic, but they don't know that. I could summon a black hole at will. Oh, that's why your that's why your 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 place was destroyed. What? Well, a black mm. hole of any sort of size that you could see would actually destroy your world instantly. Nah, my world's oh, just more powerful really? than yours. You'd be surprised. <laughs> my world could beat up your world. <laughs> actually, current physics, actually, you could probably make which a tiny, tiny one. Uh, aren't, aren't dark holes just like 
holes of darkness that like no they're a uh almost infinite vastness that is compact enough but sucks everything out of everything into itself uh, they're what stars are only reversed yes i mm -hmm. wonder if there are white holes probably <laughs> then we can have worm travel <laughs> Case, only only with a Y worm. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Um, it's impressive though, all the same. Just... So, how does your world deal with opposition then? Surely everyone was on the same side at that point. No. There's not a... <laughs> there's... Before the bombs fell, everyone hated each other. After the bombs fell, everyone hates each other. Humans. Then the heart, then the heartless came and put that world out of its misery. I'm surprised the heartless actually survived there, but I guess radiation isn't light. Uh, everything happened quick. I didn't even notice anything until everything had gone down. Those creatures swarmed the place, but they weren't the only ones. We have our own pests in those worlds. Uh, to be honest, I didn't even know anything was happening. There were. A bunch of flares going up from all around none of my people really knew what was going on and by the time i found anything i was cornered by a death claw uh, yeah, giant no. giant beast uh yeah you drew a picture of it for us at one yeah point. yeah all right giant that beast like around to... 10 foot tall like big claws <laughs> Mods like to put a bunch of them like everywhere. <laughs> I really do. Either way, uh, it's it's why I'm really worried about that flame. If it's something that is extremely attracted to radiation, it could be similar. Either that, or those children of Adam freaks actually were right about it being at, about atomic energy being gods or whatever. No, most things do have origins in gods. So, how would your world be immune to this idea? Is that the rule when you say children of Adam? They call themselves children of Adam because they were the ones that embraced the new world after the bombs fell. A lot of them basically go on about how they did go on about how uh, the world was new and they were the ones that had to inhabit it instead of looking back at the past. It seemed quite after the adapted. They were. Uh, they're also very scary in a lot of ways. Uh, mm. Kidnappers and murderers, but hell, everybody is where I came from. So normal. <laughs> They're about, as, they're about as normal as almost all the other crazy zealots in my world. This were there, well, obviously that was normal. But still, they sound something that gives me a migraine. My entire world, this whole universe, collective of planets, whatever it is, it's most likely better off without it. Probably the sounds of it either way uh i already sort of got everything out of those there was some food there that i passed out to a lot of the people outside once we started getting more people around um the canisters i'd already used up uh the only thing left over is the money that was in there we don't really have anywhere to spend it we were okay. actually going up to the upper city in order to buy equipment for ourselves I don't know how much you're going to get from this, but he uh, reaches down uh, into a pack that he has. As he does, he holds it out towards you guys. Doo -doo -doo -doo. I'm going to look over towards your money pegs, your money our pouches. Money Where's your money? At? There it is. It's over here. And it's, it's, it's called money. money. Uh, yeah, it's, it's actually a significant change. I want you guys to give yourself 4,000 each. Simon's not gonna do much. It's just, you know. You know, sends everyone into basically near 10k each. 
I would like each of you to give yourselves 4,000 each uh, as he raises up um, uh, his card and passes it along to you guys. Upon doing so, he looks back. You might be able to find something with that. Maybe at least a good chess piece or something. Yeah, we've been kind of going without any armor, relying on the shield that we keep getting from the light here. <laughs> well... That's about all I got. Um, if you need anything else, I can try to help you out. But right now, I just want to have a patrol and make sure everybody's doing good, especially with the mm -hmm. borders having filled out since yesterday. Mm -hmm. Might want to check yeah. and see if any of the surrounding buildings that are now on the light are any use for anybody. Your, your military group, have you been rebuilding there's not a lot of people out there. I have a couple of civilians helping me out, but I feel like right now everyone's doing the best they can just to watch out for themselves. So still just me, but uh, I'm basically just helping you guys hold down the fort. So you guys are doing the hardest part. You find another one of those big creeps, though. Those, uh, dark sides, I think she called them. Let I me know. Time, yeah. Let me know, and I'll see if I can do anything for you. Hmm. Well, we can think of one, but, uh... <laughs> two, really. There are two it's complicated. Been... <laughs> two of them have been captured by some of the gods that are in this world that we have come across. So they're not causing any more harm. <laughs> Whatever that white flame is, since I can sort of emulate it, it's uh, really good on those things. So, Interesting. apparently good it's now. worse on things that have emblems, whatever that means. But it's apparently really good. To. Apparently really good against pure blood, heartless. From what she told me, is what they're called. Mm. The ones that are without symbols are the pure bloods. Apparently that fire is really good against those. I don't know what the difference between the two of them are, but shrugs. Maybe them getting those emblems causes them to take less from light stuff. I just suit. Mm -hmm. At that point, given this information. If that's oh. true, it might be because they've consumed a heart. According to the Keyblade wielder. It doesn't matter much with her weapon. Her weapon specifically can take those guys down, whether they're emblems or not, but light magic apparently works better on those without hearts in them. If that's what those emblems are. Don't hesitate, then. The emblems trap them. Killing them frees them. Hmm. See what I can do. I'm going out on patrol now. Hmm. Just sort of of motions back at you guys, a bit of a wave, and yeah, starts yeah. making his way. Our beautiful, we, our beautiful man. We need keywords. We have like two extra miles around here that I have to walk now. <laughs> <laughs> this guy has literally the worst job. I feel so bad for uh, They call him the walker. Uh, the worst so part is I have to shit. convince the people that come in here that I'm actually in charge of things. And they're like, no, you're not, Prescott. <laughs> you're I just a big I dummy. <laughs> also, sorry to interrupt, but I had to literally drop everything I was doing to make this image. So I'll give it to you guys. Oh, no. <laughs> cool. <laughs> Let's see. Oh no! <laughs> when your buddy decided to divorce your wife and raise a child, they legalized about forty years ago. Bro. You need you need to throw that in the KX chat and on the Discord. I'm so fucking happy about this. <laughs> oh my god! It's perfect. <laughs> they legalized it about forty years ago, bro. Oh, <laughs> Oh my god. Third base play. <laughs> oh I my god. <laughs> there you go. You, now you guys can go see it. It's in the KH chat in the Discord. 
Uh, I'm not even spoiling it. If you believe this is real, I would not believe you. <laughs> the cage. Or... If you told me, oh yeah, that's canon, I would be like, what? <laughs> it's fine. No one would ever believe it's canon. The cage art scene is like really popping today. Oh my god. Hey, did you guys? Did you guys know that? Hold on, I'm just gonna put it in here. <laughs> Hold on, yeah. I'm grabbing it. You can go to the Discord right now and you can see exclusive content. Yeah, specifically right now, because if you wait two seconds, I'm going to make it not be exclusive by putting it in the video. <laughs> because I want to make a joke, so I have to do it. There we go. There we go. It's coming. It's almost here no longer exclusive okay <laughs> uh, it's no longer exclusive Good all i want all i wanted all i wanted to say by bringing this over here uh and, and and looking at it uh when your buddy decided to divorce your wives and raise a chairs together they legalized about 40 years ago brother uh this is that uh it's, it's only half it's only halfway through the month but we're already we're already getting ready for that pride month let's go yeah let's go yeah. normalize right, let's bros kissing bros and raising a kid together let's go all right everyone <laughs> here's the merch lineup you will get one savannah <laughs> you will get one gay foot and you get two bros racing a together. <laughs> Damn, that's perfect. it <laughs> that's all you get i need to be rp i'm sorry how dare okay. you <laughs> so i love this this is great um but yes. so i can't help but notice prescott being uh convinced we're not gonna get much with a collective for a 12 16 thousand zenny money <laughs> um he was just like you can maybe get alone. like a good chess piece with this more what money that we've seen in a file well he's what expecting you guys he's expecting you guys are gonna go to the upper city which where things are a lot more expensive because okay, there's that no will make a point inflation does act that then because there's no stores left in the lower city <laughs> There, there's one store left in the lower city. The only and way you guys are gonna get good deals in the lower city is if you ask uh any if is if you ask uh freaking um do, 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 do. every man's if you ask him uh bleh, macho there we go if you ask macho, macho to maybe make something for you or you find the correct every man's <laughs> oh my god fuck you <laughs> we buy a map of the every man's. I mean, if you're looking for my brothers, maybe I can tell you if there's any if there's any of them around. <laughs> he just fucking spawned when we talked about him too long. I was thinking this would be the new mana items and all that would be a great excuse for a wardrobe change, but not from every man's. <laughs> uh, I got the perfect thing for you. I call it a mm. I call it bikini armor. No. <laughs> bikini armor. Hey, bikini armor, you say? <laughs> so I'm interested. Of, it sounds powerful. So little, what enchantments are there? There's so little of actual material. Like, I can pull it off, definitely, but the amount of material expect. may this... be low, but it's high quality. Mm. <laughs> well, it stops stabbing. Of course. It does seem to perfectly protect my packs only. I'm. I'm it protects more than that, I'll tell you that. I'll tell you anything. <laughs> and my penis. Wait. It'll save you. It'll save both you and your future children. I can't have children. I refuse, sir. I mean, I can't have normal children. It's, like, it's okay, complicated. It's just to protect you. <laughs> You just can't have, you can have children, you just can't have cherished yeah. children. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> unless, you figure, unless. unless you figure out what the fuck happened with that egg. Oh, once I unblock the secret of childbirth. When a, when a mommy and daddy fight each other very hard, <laughs> one reaches down the gullet of the other. <laughs> okay, but, uh, shit, where was this front of it? Yes, we could try to ask If you guys want to if you guys want to try to try to get anything, uh the current two vendors you guys have available to you right now uh are Macho for is for creating things. He's like I'm a craftsman, I'm a carpenter, but I can I can make some shit. 
uh boss goes the same with that or you guys can talk to every man's and see if and see if you have it the current every man's you guys has here uh only deals in potions but you might be able to see if you can find something else that he might be interested in there's a sense of so playing tales of Berseria, i can't handle it with these i'm so shows. glad you finally know wh where the voice is coming from yeah. <laughs> I'm so glad you 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 finally know that he's basically just the Toitles from from Tales of Basaria. <laughs> I hate you so much. <laughs> How does it feel to know? Does it scare you? Knowledge hurts. What it you has saying? those backpacks on them. Yeah. Um, too. Does Bacho have a secret like affinity for goth clothing? Uh, I mean, he probably has a secret something for goth clothing. <laughs> Who doesn't? <laughs> it's not secret, also. <laughs> but the everyman's might have exactly the. We're about effect. to learn more than we ever wanted about this man. Do you guys want to make your way to Sam Everyman's? Yo, man. Yeah, this is the best man we know, clearly. Well, if it isn't my favorite customers, mm. I've been setting up shop Wait. a little early over here, and lots of, lots of money's to be made. Well, we could say you're quite early to to uh to commerce, I suppose is the word here. Early to rise, early to bed. I suppose it's true. It's <laughs> I don't know how it works as part of like the metaphor, but well, I don't think that was a full sentence. That's, that's, I think it's as full as it needs to be. I suppose when you do wake up early, you want to go to sleep earlier. Hmm. And then you can wake up even earlier and get more of that early. What do you guys want? I, I, what do you, what do you want? You look like I, you, you look like I you need something. Agree. I don't understand your metaphor. The one I know is the earliest to rise chooses who falls. That one. <laughs> I like the earliest to rise gets a big snack. That so one too. We're in need of equipment. <laughs> the earlier the rise are in need of equipment. That's a good one. No, we do actually need equipment. Oh, oh, okay. Um, I could strap a potion to you. That is not what um, I don't think that would help. No, I think it would help a lot. Imagine for a moment, you're in the heat of battle. You got, you All got, right. you got hurt. You got stabbed, or or whatever oh, the whatever those heartless guys do to you. They do stab sometimes. And then they hit you, and then you maneuver your way around to where they hit the potion on your belt and then the potion splashes all on you and then you, and then you get healed didn't even have to drink it it just splatters all over you wait a damn minute i think he's i think he's coming up with something actually i calls it a potion belt but wouldn't you also have to risk getting cut by the glass of the bottle well, that has to hurt less than being stabbed by a Heartless, right? It has to hurt less than being stabbed by a Heartless! But it could just undo yeah. any feeling that you got from the potion Not itself. Not if it's a quality potion, which is the only potions I sells. Every man's we need armor and weapons. Well, I don't have any of those for you. Who does? Ah, uh, maybe you might find my brother? Uh, my brother Frank? <laughs> Wait, brother hold on. Frank every man's. Hold on for a second. I need to make sure. Out of character. Uh, Unless their name yeah. is Every Spencer's, I'm not interested. <laughs> uh, might, might, might want to find my brother Frank. My brother Frank Everyman's. Frank Everyman's. Mm -hmm. Where is Frank? Uh, well, last I heard, uh, he was off a little bit over into um, uh, into the uh, the village off to the uh, west, west of the hmm. big manor up to the north. Uh, but not sure. Holy shit, there's a bunch of dogs over there. I'm scared of dogs. Yeah, they've been uh, walking around here. I'm not particularly sure when they got here. Good to know they're okay. <laughs> they have little emblems on them? What the hell? Anyway, no. Oh, that might not be good. <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> no, it's like... uh, How did those get in here? The rover at the he, last time I heard of him, he was over at the village to um, uh, to the west of the uh, of the manor. Uh, but I hadn't heard about him since the Heartless did the thing, so I don't know, he might be dead. Oh, you don't seem particularly heartbroken about. Have a big family. family. <laughs> Had a big That's family. Mm. I'm sorry. I don't know if any of them are dead. I mean, they probably. What we every man's were really good at surviving. 
So they're probably all right. Well, there you go. We're quick and nimble. You know why? 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 We're magic. Every one of us. Magic. Mm-hmm. You might have uh, noticed that we are a uh, particular breed of uh, mythical creature. Humans are not mythical. Humans? Nah, we're not humans, I friend. I see you have some sort of cloak. <laughs> I'm gonna let you in on a secret, Zarel. Oh, I, I like secrets. I am a Moogle. A Moogle? Mm hmm. What's a Moogle? A Moogle is a special magical spirit of commerce. Creatures. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not making. How dare you! I am speaking to you of the of the great Moogle race that I am a part of, uh, definitely. Oh, and mm. what? There are these other creatures, the uh, Chocobos? Yeah. <laughs> oh, get real. <laughs> yeah, there's plenty of. What do you that's mean? My, that's frustrating. As Surprised I am you know about Chocobos. <laughs> As frustrating as he is, Mona, worlds are strange out in this universe. They're big chickens. Maybe he's telling the truth. The big chickens that pull our cots. You now have my attention. <laughs> Look at that. She just tried to sell us a potion belt. I'm still kind of thinking about Zarelle, how much you for the potion belt. I'll give it to you <laughs> for a good price, Zarell. Only you, though. I'll give it to you for for. For three, for no, what the two thousand money deal? <laughs> Drell minus two thousand money from here. <laughs> it's a potion on the string. <laughs> it's this a potion actual, belt. Is this an actual belt, like equipment? Go, or he I hands am. you a potion belt. It is, uh, it, it, it looks very lightweight. Uh, has two well-made straps uh, al along each side of it. You can either wear it along your waist or around your or around your front, like around your chest, uh, like diagonally, like a sash. Um, and it can hold up to two potions inside of it, of whatever size, because it seems to wrap around and tie around like the bottleneck. Oh, this is quite lightweight. Oh yeah, yeah. Portability is is. Key in adventuring gear. I suppose that would be true of all the moving and scurrying about. But now I do have the problem of needing potions. Oh, I have, I have good news. <laughs> <laughs> oh, really? You tell me. <laughs> I happen to be a potion salesman. <laughs> all right, you do that. All right, let's. I'm like, to imagine he is laughing throughout this whole thing. <laughs> Word for word, <laughs> laughing about this whole situation. You know what? <laughs> That's out of character to laughing. Zarel's having. I, I don't want to remove his joy. I, I'm. Gonna... I want one of those belts. <laughs> I'll be that for you, Gilgamesh. That'll be three thousand money. <laughs> He's like people actually want. It. Let's raise up the price. No, he Why? he he gave it special to Zarel because Zarel <laughs> believes in me. The rest of you is none of you has believed in me. I'm kind you don't of even neutral. you don't even know a cho you don't you don't even think chocobos are real. Points over to Muna. <laughs> I mean, she was the one that brought up the word chocobo, because so she was making it up at this on the spot. I'm particularly neutral in this whole situation. Bow. <laughs> I'm I'm pretty neutral here. I don't really lean either way. I mean, neither do I. But we're not talking mm. about that right now. <laughs> <laughs> Fine. <laughs> Take it. Okay. <laughs> oh, is Hibiki talking about which team he bats for? <laughs> no! That's not what was being met here, and then he made it. Like, the no. kind of thing you lean to? So go. They legalized it 40 years ago, brother! Yeah, Muna. You were gonna get handed your potion belt? Uh. Mm -hmm. Here you go. Give me, give me your three. Get lower yourself did. by three. Good, good, good. Uh, the one thing about having this potion belt, it is technically an armor piece. 
So you guys will be gaining plus one AC from this. E. Yay. I just thought it was going to be, I just thought it was just for piece of access. It is technically an armor piece because technically e. it doesn't do anything. <laughs> well, awesome. <laughs> Don't take it, man. In battle, if you have a potion in your potion belt, maybe we'll roll luck to see if what his weird scenario he gave you is true. <laughs> <laughs> but essentially, you guys bought a belt that has... The, you bought a belt that <laughs> they cut the loops on so that you can tie them instead of just having them be loops. Yeah. <laughs> it's a potion belt. I mean, it's an intense, amazing uh, form of outerwear that can aid you in battle and a lot. Yeah. <laughs> you the belt armor, which needs many, many, many belts for the belt chest. You see. This does mean that you have 20 AC now, Zero. <laughs> Normal. And I'm looking at your AC, I'm like, God damn. Gilgamesh has 15. No, no, 14. I changed it. Already. Oh, you're changing? Okay. My I'm only so, job I'm, at this party is to have a bunch of AC. That's fine. Okay. Does this help us with using potions in battle in any way? Or are they nope. just here for cool. <laughs> But it I'm does sorry. hold two potions in it, which means you don't lose it's, any space in your in your inventory. <laughs> is it like a I'm thing of hold? It has two potion holes. <laughs> what a steal. Would other items I fit believe these? I I agree. <laughs> Could one fit anything in this? If you try hard enough, probably. Mm. <laughs> we see Gilgamesh wrapping around his chest like a bandolier. <laughs> <laughs> Gilgamesh, uh, you don't have a lot of things, uh, but looking at your stuff here, you could probably put your agility up on it. <laughs> it's, it, is an armor, it. it is an armor he piece. So. This. You just see him attach the agility material into the loop and just tie it up. Yep, it works. <laughs> it just starts shining now. <laughs> yep. If, yeah. um, oh, you, oh, you have materia. Yeah, that works. <laughs> materia. Oh, there you go. Look at you. Yep. I, have, I actually lose an agility negative. Yeah, you have a plus one agility right now. Cool. I have two. I have minus two now. I lost my legs are healing. Wait, where's your? Wait, wh did you take one off? Because you still should. Okay, it I know. should still Don't be work. here. We just but need, your but your thing has the thing. thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah so you have minus two instead of minus instead of minus three right now. My nature is healing my legs. <laughs> <laughs> now I'm gonna heal my arms. Yeah. So you just see do much tie material up and ching. Oh yeah, mm -hmm. by the way, get your get your health back, Zarel. <laughs> oh, I'm healed from the horrifying stairs I got from my maybe father. <laughs> it's cool that you have so much shield. Yeah, Donkey Donkey brought brought it up like, shouldn't they have full health back? Yeah, you, you rested. You should have your health back. <laughs> you have really good shield now. To get the forms. You have really good shield now until it wears off. So <laughs> until it gets fucking ripped off me. <laughs> do, do you at least have a mana potion? A mana potion for for manas. Uh, we don't really do mana where I come from, but I have just the thing. Uh, yeah, right. I'm gonna roll real quick. Do, 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 do. We know they exist in this world because um, a certain keyblade we were gave it the key, the key during the beginning parts of this game. Here, blue Kool Aid. Blue I mean, he rolled a 19, so... <laughs> Here's some blue kool -Aid. As he just seems to pull out uh, from his uh, from his wares uh, a couple of small blue mini potions. You guys know the mini potions. There are many of them. Um, he does potion? have the mini ones. Does that mean... Wait, are mini potions able to... We fit like one in every square, right? I'm not crazy. Or uh, two. You can, you can fit two in each, each of your squares. Does that mean... It does not work for the potion bag because the potion bag okay. only has uh, only has the the untied loop, so we have to tie it yeah. around the thing. Okay, I had to ask because I wasn't sure. Because that I don't know. Couldn't know that. You find Neat. that he does seem to have some mini mana ones. Moon, slow asynchronized blink. How much? 
Hmm. For a non-believer like you? Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. He like panically is like looking over toward like Hibiki and like looking toward Muna and then looking to Hibiki as if he's waiting for Hibiki to help him with the price like he did last time. <laughs> you should act interested so I know that it's good. <laughs> well, Hibiki. I guess I'll before but before you before you do anything, I'm gonna have Hibiki. Hibiki, I, I want to know. Do you have any interest in these in these mana potions at all? You know that they exist and that they're good. Um I'm are like, you trying here's to hide? Exhibit a. Huh? Here's exhibit A, power five. Are you wanting to hide uh how good you think mana potions are from them? Yes. Uh, are you want or like are you wanting to, to are you wanting to just okay, just go ahead and roll me. For your, uh, we'll say, we'll say negotiation. I'll be nice. Roll for Hell your negotiation. Yeah. We'll yes, see if he lowers the price based off of. of uh, see if he lowers the price based off of your, uh, your emotions and your physiology. It that is a natural twenty. Holy shit! As he looks to Hibiki, Hibiki is getting just this look of, uh, these things are worthless, man. <laughs> This is trash from a butt. Uh, 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 we'll say uh, 200 monies? Each? <laughs> <laughs> Looks to Muna. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, I, where's my phone? Oh, right, it's in my bag, right? How many of them do you want to buy? I'll buy all five, and while buying all five, I'm also gonna. There are there, there, there isn't just five. <laughs> That's why I'm asking how many of them you want to buy. He has a lot of them. Five. You want to buy five? Okay, that's gonna take away a thousand from your money. <laughs> also, you have a free draw. You don't need to use that. Yep, you have a free you have a free karma card right now. A free karma draw. <laughs> Makes me sad you're using it potentially out of boredom, but let's do it. Go ahead and roll. <laughs> no, no. Oh, no. Uh, that's in character. That's in character. That's in character. <laughs> I'm not actually bored. That's the moon of dying. <laughs> no, nah, I'm playing. Go ahead and go ahead and shuffle okay, the deck. Okay. I didn't want you to think I was actually bored. I hope you draw the fucking explodes <laughs> every fan card. I was enjoying being Squidward. Don't worry. <laughs> I hope this is when it comes up. <laughs> Come over here to the deck and shuffle it up and we'll see what you get. I hope you get false strap dragon somehow. <laughs> yeah, somehow false strap dragon is here. It was a bit to emphasize the... the you're game. fine. You're fine, Lily. I was playing. You're fine. You're fine. You're fine. Where, where are we? Where are we? Right here. We love the ping. We love the ping. We love the ping. We love the party. On the other side of the fucking board. Okay, this one? Yep, go ahead yeah. and shuffle yeah. it up. I almost... I don't know how I did that. Are you far away from your mic right now? Uh, I was behind the mic. Oh, okay. <laughs> That's the hunger. Oh, no. <laughs> I had so much scary. fun drawing this card. That's scary. I looking. think this is the first hunger we've ever drawn. The first drawn. time. Yeah. <laughs> so, In all of the games. Yeah. What's the default mm -hmm. before I choose to roll? Uh, well, <laughs> we're going to get that in a second. Do, 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 do. As we go to the hunger, uh, the neutral effect of this card is draw another card. It's good or bad effects are doubled. Oh my God. <laughs> Which means oh. if something takes half of your life. <laughs> what if you just die? What if a heart attack and fucking dies? So, you know, if you get the thorns, you just might die <laughs> for someone like me that's actually a good default but what, what are the that's others? the neutral effect you don't know what the other two are would you like to roll for the you good or bad roll effect or find out or uh, fuck around and find out let's roll good. all right what are we looking for you're looking uh, just yeah. for odds or evens say odds or evens in your head or tell me i mean <laughs> not in your, in your head odds. hey uh, odds. Okay. that's pretty good it's going go. to it. Quadruple a positive effect. Quadruple. 
a draw, a quadruple, whatever it is, and I get death. <laughs> do, 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 do. Is that you have four let bosses put, to fight? Let me put the hunger over here as well, so we have it on our list over here. Bam. Bam. The good effect of this card, you keep this card, and you can use this card to attempt to recreate any ability or skill you see by rolling the stat associated with the skill with no advantage. You can re-attempt to get this ability or skill if you fail at a later time. Uh -oh. no, that works. You're, smear you're a smear girl now. Good job. Basically, <laughs> once you decide that you're using this card, you cannot use it for any other skill, but later on, you can re-attempt the roll to see if you get that skill more than once so you will get the skill potentially hopefully before the campaign ends but you will get it eventually <laughs> <clears throat> depending on which skill you decide it will be a decently hard roll but it's a very good it's a very good 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 effect very good card smeargle man smeargles smeargle smeargle I love the art for hunger. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I really like the art. I it wish I fun. could. I wish I could tell you guys the effect of this card right now. <laughs> I mean, why not do it for a funny treat? Why not? That's a treat. Because it wouldn't it be a treat if you guys see it when it happens. That's okay. true. <laughs> if we even get it again, because we love rolling panic and horns over and over. I actually, but did kind of worried because it's like moon is like oh you're falling for like him and i get hungry it's like oh shit i'm gonna buy everything from his fucking store <laughs> so if if the if the neutral effect is double the good or back effect to the next card <clears throat> and drop three and the good effect is you can learn a, you can use any skill you've seen before if you pass a check and you could maybe learn it later the fuck do you get with the bad effect with those two in mind? You know what? The DM can go the to your house and bite you. If if somebody if somebody prestiges a person or gets one of you guys a fake card before the end of the game, I'll let you know. Hmm. I'll let you know what the bad effect is. <laughs> but Woo. for now, now we have to simp to know. <laughs> but for now, you guys uh, have just bought uh, five of those potions after him going like, I guess they're worth what five of them bought. Hmm. Hey, wait a minute. Hmm. Wait a damn minute. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> looks to Hibiki, looks back to Muna, looks to Hibiki. Hibiki buys one. A wise guy, eh? <laughs> yeah, you can buy one. Yeah. Go ahead and 200? give yourself, uh, yep, give yourself 200 and take away 200 and bloop. That's a hunger card. I'm not giving you that. Um, <laughs> Where'd that come from? Do, 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 bloop. There you go. Uh, the mini, um, uh, the mini potion, uh, the mini mana ones will give you back two mana whenever you use them. Hell yeah. That being said, ah, well, if there's any other potions you might need, I got them. Otherwise, you're going to have to go try to find Frank. He's the equipment guy. I mean, the rest of us sort of have things that are really amazing equipment, like this, um, like this potion belt of, of heroism. But uh, he's the specific equipment guy. What if I just kept wrapping belts around myself? You could just keep wrapping belts around yourself. <laughs> I mean, I have plenty Imagine of belts. Imagine the power. I have, plenty, I have plenty of belts here. <laughs> if, there are so uh, many belts around. If you have <laughs> buckles, I could use a few buckles for my outfit. <laughs> It's basically everything we need right now if nobody's gonna buy other potions. All right, no, no. let me know if you find Frank. He owes me Before money. Before I make a dumb decision, can I stack belts? Uh, most likely you will not be able to stack the AC effects of the okay. same belt over and over. If you find a different <laughs> belt that isn't a potion belt, then you will. I have to go find new belts. <laughs> if you find other belts, you can. 
but you can't stack specifically more potion belts on each other. You guys see a side quest <laughs> icon show up or Zarel? <laughs> just going, oh, so. are there any abusive fathers here? <laughs> Zarel's just like, I'm gonna start my only belts. Because <laughs> I only have belts. <laughs> His only belts channel. Channel as in, you know, a body of water. Like, huh. people are gonna click thinking it's one thing, but stay because of Zarel's charm. <laughs> but yep, yeah, uh, you guys learn of the existence, potentially, of Frank Everyman's. Uh, at that point, you guys make your way out. Uh, you do note, I will let all of you know, you pass by the area that would have a, that would have a raft if you had one. Uh, you guys never went and got your raft back. That's fine. So it's still wow. like, oh, it's still like, like hung up over at Wee. the, over at the shore area up there. So you can't get to the area beside of, uh, beside of the Peace Keeper's place easily, but it's still a lot closer to go there than to go to the upper city. We could try to go get it. We should make a raft to get a raft. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> Oh, maybe we could buy more potion belts mm. and make a raft out of that. I agree! <laughs> he is strange, but he has been proving himself useful. It wouldn't be bad to go get the raft when we're at it. It would be, if you guys start making your way toward where you believe Frank is, it would be on the way to the raft. We should do this. Yes. It makes the most sense okay so just to make sure you guys are wanting to go there instead of going to the peacekeepers or the upper city in hopes of potentially finding a a a, a man's who can and every man's even who can give you guys a better deal i need an every man's i need an every man's yeah. i'm holding I... up for an every man's <laughs> so you'll till the that. end of the night till the ends of the night <laughs> he doesn't have to be strong <laughs> He's he not very have strong, have but because price. of him, he will survive. <laughs> At the 100,000 follower mark, we will make a cover. <laughs> we need a hero. It won't be good, but that's not all we It will not be good, him. but I will do <laughs> the it. The 200,000 mark will get the Everyman's Christmas album. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I would do? Uh, I would what? do the Everyman's Christmas. Jingle man. I'm Jingle gonna be, man. I'm going to be generous. I would add the Christmas album to the 100,000 one. <laughs> oh my god because it's never gonna happen anyway let's continue <laughs> no, that too. Anyhow, if y'all want to play the other man's sword i mean i guess it'd be fine at this point you it's guys awesome. go to make your way out of the area i'm guessing mm -hmm. yeah uh i will assume that you bring your you bring your associated associates with you which is to say uh fully ramu and po <laughs> yes. You will Honestly. bring you will bring the three of them with you as you make your way out. Where are they? Um, Where are they? They're probably in the line. Where they the are. Fuck is, there he is. <laughs> they are in the line. They do line things mm -hmm. in the line. They like doing what? lines. <laughs> <laughs> Where's the ride? This is the ride. The ride. <laughs> as you guys will go to make your way away. It will take you a decent chunk of the day to get through the northern area of the city. However, you guys are not stopped at any uh, at any toll areas or anything like you were last time. You will pass by the area that you had uh, met fully at, uh, but there's really, again, nobody there that's going to stop you this time from going. You don't go far enough toward the manor to have the peacekeepers come out to you or anything. You make your way off uh, as you do you find that there is a scattered village off to uh, the west from where you are. You find that there are uh, a, a few windmills as well as a bunch of fields and different things on either side of a river. You guys remember going past whenever you guys were on your, uh, your raft the first time. On one side of the river, there is a lot of farmland, a lot of different things around there. But on the other side, it's mostly for... Uh, different kinds of uh, grazing animals and different things there because again mostly it is near where the mountains are and possibly colder maybe too cold for 
crops in this specific time of year. Uh, that being said, as you guys are going by this area, there is an obvious center to the town, uh, which is showing itself to be uh, directly in the, in the middle here where this uh, large building is right here. But there are other buildings surrounding it. There is a center to this town that is around there. However, there's also uh, a small little, uh, a small little uh, farming area off to the side where you guys had passed by at one point uh, going on your raft. And beyond that, uh, there appears to be a large barn-like area just on the outskirts of the forest itself. After the several hours it takes you guys to get to the point where you're going to, I would like to know. Uh, I'm guessing you guys are taking the truck, by the way, as well. Um, yeah. So I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and lower lower that by by quite a bit. Uh, it's, I'm gonna say it's around noonish by the time you guys get here. Um, do you guys want to go straight to the town center? Do you guys want to go to the, uh, either of the two buildings on the outskirts? What do you guys want to do? Well, if we're tracking an everyman's. Got to track you in every man. Got to get them. Hopefully they have <clears throat> decent equipment, though. I hmm. will admit, I haven't had the same whimsy with their products, but perhaps this will be the one. Perhaps this will be my favorite every man. <laughs> it's always good to keep your heart open, Muna. However, I mean, two of them that we found were in areas that were semi-populated. And one was in the middle of nowhere. So statistically, I mean, if, if we're thinking of like the law of symmetry, the one that we're looking for would be further away from town center. But if we're going for statistics, it would be closer because there's more people buying. What? I'll trust your judgment on this. I have no idea how to find someone in these things. Me neither. I'm just making assumptions. <laughs> you swear I found anyone was tearing the town to shreds. Moon is trying to comprehend. I mean, I guess like, we could always do that. And all that kind of stuff. We could do that, yes. Hmm. But they might increase prices like every man just did to me. Or decrease prices. By the way, thanks for that Hebe key. That actually helped. <laughs> I hope my No problem. I hope my, I hope my poker face kept well. I was also tired. Tired of bullshit. Hey. <laughs> hey yo, that's very mean actually. <laughs> <laughs> hey yo, that's that's fucked up. <laughs> 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 Just... Okay. If if this belt works out for both of you, then I'll eat my words. I'll eat them on a plate. I suppose we should try. We're gonna try the town center first, center of town, and go out from there. See if anyone's around. Sounds good to me. <laughs> As you guys approach the town center. Uh. Ba -ba -ba -ba. I'm gonna look at your guys' stats real quick. Don't worry about it. Uh, okay. <laughs> okay. Our stats are five. There are many of them. Literally just Zarel. <laughs> Just Zarel? Literally just Zarel. I need you to roll me a straight d20. Yay! <laughs> Seven. Zarel got run over by a roll check. <laughs> that's pretty good. Yeah, that's pretty good for Zarel. If you ask every man, I believe. Mm, all right. <laughs> Zarel, yeah. may I ask you uh, how optimistic you're feeling today? I'm feeling pretty good. Feeling pretty good today? I mean, I suppose I'm a little morose about the whole fact of, you know, having to now uncover the mystery of maybe my own murder. But right now it's, you know, so you So right. you, you feel like there's something else on your mind is what you're saying. 
Yeah, yeah. Okay, okay, I can work with that. <laughs> hey, what, what are you doing? <laughs> oh, I, I'm sorry. <laughs> what are you doing over there? Okay. Moon, Put that down. And then just looks back down. Let me switch to uh, something really quick here. Uh, oh, no. We'll go to... Uh, do, 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 do. Uh, maybe this one? Yeah. <laughs> Whoa. You guys will approach the town square. Okay. Hmm. <laughs> it looks colorful. It looks square. This is big. Woo. There looks nice to me. As you all approach, you will get yourselves out from your vehicle. Uh, parking it just on the outskirts of, of the city and find your way coming in uh, from the uh, southwestern entrance to the place as you do I'm going to move this out of the way because it's it's glitching in and I don't like it get get the there. fuck your way get out, of here. Get out of there that's so disappointing that that's all, not on the, on the circle yeah I wish it oh, was too that's, <laughs> man, that's, fucked me up. that's fine that's fine as you we'll guys enter remember. here uh, you find that there is a nice little village in front of you, um, uh, full of colorful trees, a lot of a lot of little a lot of little uh, little little homes and that such. Uh, there appears to be uh, some people moving out and about. Uh, a couple of peeps just sort of hanging there, hanging out. Let me find let me find some peeps here. Let's let's get some peeps ready. Uh, here's the some peeps. peep download. Do, 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 do. You just grab these peeps real quick. I'll just copy them. We'll do it. Got some, got some townsfolk, some villagers doing their things. Villagers. Some villagers doing their things, making making their way about town. Uh, maybe some of them are peddling wares. Maybe some of them are 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 shearing their chairs. Who not? Who knows? Uh, no uh, one says that. And, uh, having a yeah, having a good time. Come in, it's a very, very nice, lively town. So all we have to do is just find someone who happens to know one of the Evermans, right? Yeah, or anybody else in this town that might sell equipment. Seems correct. Can't be that hard to find one. Well, I suppose we just ask around for someone who's able to sell equipment, right? At that point, are we are we looking for anyone or are we looking for the guy? I don't, I don't see any guards though. How have they been? Are they? How have they been protected from the heartless here then? Perhaps you're asking saying. a lot of stupid questions. You just see. You see Gilgamesh narrow his eye. Mm. <laughs> Did that hit? That was like a fucking like, hey, if you're a cop here, why are you from fucking Delola? Fucking thing. <laughs> if you're Colossian, why are you in Sinnoh? Damn, dude, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> It's okay. You're Thank right. you, Tom. <laughs> Thank you, Tom. Go ahead. We're we're good. We're having yeah, a good yeah. time. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> you guys want to make your way toward toward uh, the busy streets? Yeah. Yeah. You pass by uh, the first couple of houses and rows of houses. As you do, you find yourself going into the square. You find that uh, a couple of people are walking uh, from uh, the bu uh, the buildings to each other, holding on to some boxes. Uh, there's a couple of them who are waving to people as they pass by. Uh, there's one woman up here in the center of a bunch of like like squares and things that's literally just dancing and twirling in the uh, around. Um, you have, yeah, everybody's having a good time. Yeah. Do you wanna do you wanna try to ask one of the busy people carrying the boxes? Do you wanna ask one of the greeters? Do you wanna go and ask the um, a person who's twirling around and dancing? Mm. Well, I think the greeters would make the most sense because, you know, if they're greeting people, they might know where other things are. Potentially, yeah. Welcome. Yeah. Okay. 
you make your way over toward one of the one of the people who are who are greeting <laughs> as you do uh you make your way over to a, um, a small villager you, a small a small village woman who goes oh welcome uh, flamio well flamio to you as well um uh, you are oh well i'm i'm Zarel. well welcome Zarel, and your friends i'm muna Gilgamesh. Welcome, oh my Muna. god! <laughs> Welcome, Muna, Gilgamesh! Like Sorry, she can fly. I use back, it's fine. <laughs> oh, my arms are tired. Are those all the names you have? It's the one I'm using. Oh, I was meaning in general. I'm Hibiki. Welcome, Hibiki! Are those Thank all the you. names you have? Why are you asking it like that? That's making sure. It... Are you mm. a god? Hmm? Well, I suppose you can think of me as a city guard, yes. Interesting. Then it's just the four of us. Okay. Well, if those are all the names you have, then they walk up toward each of you and they will hand you guys 400 money. Oh. What? Uh, Add four hundred money to your to your uh, to your cards. Okay. <laughs> what are you doing with our names? <laughs> <laughs> Look, I'm a witch. I'm <laughs> I've seen the fame before. Sound like a bad witch if you're just handing out your name like that. No, I'm playing. <laughs> I but let no. my guard down. <laughs> No, Can't I'm perfectly you fine. You didn't leave me down. You didn't let me down. <laughs> <laughs> but no. Uh, I, I really do love that we're having a situation where people keep calling out shit as it happens. It's like going through a minefield and knowing <laughs> there's a minefield and still tripping over every <laughs> landmine on the way over. <laughs> well, uh, if there is there anything that I can do for you, Zarel, Gilgamesh, Muna, Hibiki, Oh, we were, uh, we're trying to find a, uh, someone who can ma make, uh, some kind of armor, if there happens to be anyone around here. Armor? Hmm. Mm hmm Well, we guards don't normally wear armor. Motions to themselves, showing off their belly button with glee. Um. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now that's weird. What the fuck? <laughs> huh. Well, I suppose that you could ask, hmm. No, they wouldn't be there, would they? Hmm. Nope, you will find nothing like that here. Oh, no one at all? Not a single Oops. one anymore. Anymore. Did they move? Can we go over there? Hmm. You could go there. Do you want to go there? Wait, hold on. Uh. <laughs> well, if you happen to know where they would be, that would be very nice. Wait, Zarel. <laughs> would you like to go there, Zarel? Uh, yeah, of course, why not? No. <laughs> I would like for Zarel in particular to roll me for their willpower, please. Hey, wait a minute. Let me see how I have a pretty strong willpower in it. Oh, it appears I can't it appears I can't do that. Oh, okay. That's weird, but you know. Can't do what? Take you to where they were at. Take you to where they are at. Your prison? Did they do something wrong or? Yes. Oh. What did they do? Hmm. How can I say it? They Take are words. inciting panic. Inciting okay. panic? Are they, uh, something happened to them? Hmm. They are inciting panic. There's this person you were talking about wearing an interesting kind of cloak. Interesting cloak. Has a dangling bit on the head. Oh, I believe we have someone like that. Are they inciting panic? They were inciting panic. <laughs> Why were they inciting panic? Mm. Well, think... everyone was panicking and they were not helping. By making Why more did... panicking. Why were people panicking? Um... Uh, 
people were being eaten by bugs. Now, yay, big pitch black, some of them with a red heart on their chest. Yes. Okay. But it's fine. We don't have to worry about them anymore. Uh, Why? Did they get a present too? Hmm, sort of. We fed them to the tree. The tree. Oh, the tree. what tree? Mm-hmm. What? Yes, what, what tree? See the tree? Do you want to see the tree? <laughs> I don't no, think we want to no. see the tree. We <laughs> do not. May you point us to the direction of the tree and not transport us, please? Oh, of course. Will you do that? They will then point to the north. There. I warn you, we haven't fed the tree in a long while. That's a terrible sentence. So... Why does your... the tree need to be fed? It doesn't need what? to be fed. That is just how we dealt with the problem. But once we dealt with the problem, it started wanting to be fed. You didn't feed the uh, inciting panicker to the tree, did you? Oh, of course not. They are not bugs. Of course okay, not. guys, I gotta say, I'm not starting. I'm not starting not to like the general vibe of this place. <laughs> you look around this? and once again just see the person just dancing and twirling off to the side. <laughs> So what? you think they made some kind of tree heartless combination? What is this yeah. place, miss? Yes. Oh, well, that's bad. Oh, it doesn't matter what this place was. This place is born anew. So we call it born anew. What was it called before? Hmm. I believe we were called the village of Omen. We got to buy names. Could you buy it? Buy it? Mm. Wait, hold on. Oh man, interesting original name. Where we exactly were given that was... by our duke. What was the duke's name? The duke of this land, Duke Cocklicott. But of he's course. dead now. It... Yes, it's true. Yes. Are hmm. you all okay? Are y'all even human? We are fine. Yep. <laughs> Which direction did you point in the direction of that prison with the inciting person? Oh, of course. Do you want to? Do you want me to point to there? They're still yes, pointing north point. toward the uh, the last thing you told them to point to. Uh, yes. They point down. They're in the ground now. <laughs> it, are they dead? Mm, most likely not. Did you bury them alive? Of course not. Will you Can you walk us, us to... to the prison? Oh, I can't do that. Why? There are no doors. Then how did you get him there? Do you want to go there? No, I want to know what you did to get him there. I took them there. How? Can you, can you make a door there? No. You can only make a door if you wish for something to escape. Can you wish for him to escape? Mm, I could. Would you? I can't do that. Why? They'll incite panic. What if we take him away from here to avoid panic? Hmm. They will most likely incite panic somewhere else. Better than here. Well, you're not a guard of the world. You're the guard of, what do they call it again? New beginnings. Born anew. Born anew. What do you care about the rest of the world? Hmm. I care as much as anyone else. However, taking them away is most likely not something you can do. do you, because uh... we can't open. Because we can't open a door by wishing it. I, I hate to ask. Believe me, I do. Do you have a 
leadership role within Born Anew. I am a guard. Now, I understand that. <laughs> do you have a hierarchy system and do you have someone above you? Of course, the tree. The tree is the highest Does authority the in this. The tree can do whatever it wants to do. Fantastic. If there's someone over you but under the tree in hierarchy. Hmm. No. You're all equal under the tree. Now you get it. Of course. So we either have to go to the tree and ask the tree politely, or we have to give you a reason to give us this person. That sounds hard. Yes. Is there more than just the one person panicking? Oh, there are several game? who incited panic. Why did you imprison them? Because they were inciting panic. No, that's not. So if the problem was solved, why were they still panicking? You would have to ask them. Could you bring them up here so we can ask them? Oh, no, I cannot do that. Because it would incite panic, you see. Is there anyone that's still up here that might know? Well, you could ask, but you may incite panic. How would asking a question incite panic? You'd have to ask. That seems... made to imprison so... I wouldn't worry about it. I don't. I don't have to worry about panicking. You can ask me whatever, but I do not have the answers you want, so you'd have to ask somebody mm. else. But be wary, you may incite panic. Uh... Oh, they're gonna panic when Muna looks up. Never mind. Muna, as you look up, <laughs> you are Gilgamesh. I needed one of you to do it. But Muna, as you look up, you notice that the sun in the sky is dancing. <laughs> oh God, what the hell? You notice uh, that the sun in the sky <laughs> is rocking back and forth just in like a little steady jig. It was like, what the hears moon as like, huh? Looks up. Uh... This is either Toon Town or Tatuland. It doesn't I have a face, we... but it is just like, like kind of bouncing. That's that. Uh, is the sun uh, twerking? <laughs> <laughs> is the sun throwing it back? <laughs> are they whipping the name? <laughs> are they simultaneously whipping and name? <laughs> so the tree is in charge. Mm-hmm. Are there any rules beyond not panicking? Have fun! Have Does fun. and be yourself. Have fun is a is a rule. <laughs> I no. know exactly <laughs> how to have fun here. So, and be yourself. <laughs> Does the tree beyond <laughs> everyone having fun want anything specific? Have fun. I would like to go. I'm going to go see the tree to have. Yeah, fun. I think we're gonna go walk to the tree have a good day goodbye yep. Zarel, gilgamesh muna hibiki uh, goodbye As he walks uh, we didn't, by, we didn't actually get your name why why they don't say anything uh, <laughs> what? Oh, no, wait, wait, wait. 100 money for each name we're worth more than that what is your name they just look to you, they don't say anything. <laughs> is there a rule against names? No. What's your name? I can't give it to you. Why? I don't have it. I'm glad I, I have two of them. Give I'm my name. Uh, we have just... someone that stole photograph. Why wouldn't so, I? Uh... Question then. When you asked for our names, did you take them in the same way? Oh, no, no, no. I bought them. 
I'm glad I have two of those. I would like to buy my name back, please. They don't respond. We have a different way. Let's go. <laughs> All right, let's go. See you later, Sorella Muna Hibiki Gilgabash. <laughs> <laughs> I really don't like how the sun is still moving in my peripheral. I don't like that I sold my name for a hundred money. I just want a belt. Techni technically it was 400, yeah, because like <laughs> each of you got the hundred and each of you got oh. four of them, so. <laughs> then let me rework. My yeah. name is worth much more than 400. I'm just glad I you sold. didn't tell them my name or uh, Ramu's, or that little spirit, didn't... especially the little spirits. <laughs> they didn't ask about you. By the time I realized it was too late. As I, you I guys... I stole my name, so... I did that name myself, you know? As you guys step away that from the me. person, looking up at the dancing sun, the nice, soothing atmosphere of the lamb around you, the very vibrant colors of the leaves, and the ever-present dread that follows and the idea of when you were walking in here, you're pretty sure you didn't walk into a forest. As you guys start Hi, thinking about man. all of these things, I think we're going to be ending things off here. <laughs> Damn. And we didn't even get the other two fake cards drawn. Well, I will, you guys can draw them next time. <laughs> yeah. You have options, it's fine. <laughs> Why did I say my fucking name? <laughs> I can't I wait. come back. I oh, have a I, I, I need you to understand, in this party, Sorelix is purely as a being to take damage for you guys. Mm. I don't know why you keep following behind them. <laughs> Hibiki, Hibiki, Hibiki. You didn't, you, didn't set, you didn't sell your name. You sold them their name. Yeah. Fuck wait. Uh, <laughs> uh, I... I specially crafted this name. I went through many names. Oh yeah, you had to like work for it and shit. <laughs> Look, there were I, a lot of names. I was almost an Elizabeth. I stole mine. As you go to say I was almost an Elizabeth, <laughs> you don't say a name. Gaw? Fuck off. Fuck off, <laughs> uh, Fuck off that shit. Gilgamesh says Gilgamesh. You don't say a name. At least I still have force. You does not say force. <laughs> uh, I'm going to I'm going to burn this place to the ground. <laughs> Guys, I hope everybody had fun. We're gonna be ending the recording here for the night. Uh hopefully next time we will see uh all of the fun things that can happen here. Uh, in the village of Born Again, <laughs> used to be known as the Omen Village. Um We'll see how things go. Uh, we just wanted some bells. <laughs> what are you trying to say? Go here in the dirt. In the dirt. Well, they they, they, they would the they wouldn't have any. They wouldn't have like the the prison be something you could escape from. So why would there be doors? I, I just imagine it's the little prison you meet Bombetta and Paper Mario. <laughs> <laughs> I. Just, I why did I agree to go find this fucking every man? I'm, Why did I not oh, just say, let's go to the upper as, city? The trap might as well have been an exclamation point where we saw them carve the trap in front of us because we sold our name to them. I was looking at all your guys' stats and the only one that had enough resilience to go against coming in here was Zarel. And like, I was sitting there like, but would Zarel even think about it? <laughs> <laughs> That's kind of like the issue. It's like, Zarel? could however <laughs> so that's why when you're like i'm thinking about like my death and shit i'm like oh so you're thinking about something else <laughs> i can't believe we let him get away with this <laughs> anyway we're in the we're in the recording here hope you guys have a good time and until next time guys later days bye bye, bye.